Hello, how are you guys doing? Happy Monday. I am so excited to have you here. Uh, as you can see, I am not home, but I'll be home soon. Uh, all right, so if you guys want to come and uh, talk to Autumn, Autumn is awesome. So I think you, should, you guys should come. If you want to come and talk to her, you can send me an email at medimonico1 at gmail.com, or you can just click the link in the description of this video, and uh, you can just come for lap, talk to her, do what you got to do. That would be awesome. Um, all right, Melly, early. I'm not early. I'm on time. I'm on time. That, that, that's what I am. Uh, so I talked to Autumn earlier, so she should be coming shortly. Uh, hey, let me say hello real quick. Hey, Jamal. Um, can they change? What's up? Cool. Gamer, Nezette. Uh, here go my booski. Hey, Dorothy J. What's up? Nothing Speed. Hello, DR334. Michael Johnson. All, uh, I don't know. All 6122. Hello. Uh, thank you, Shahwan. Yeah, and Shahwan say Melly looking nice. I feel a little, a little funny, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Melly, what time is it there? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. The sun is out. It's out, but I'm kind of like in the shade. I don't like it. I would have preferred more light. But um, after this, you know, we're going to go to the pool. We're going to have a good day. Melly on time. Why are you guys be acting like I'm not on time usually? I'm always on time. Um, Hey, Fabian, what's up? Chemistry is here. Mr. Go Hard. Uh, Shauna Brown, hello. Uh, Speedy, hello. Twin78. So, yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to see if it's too loud outside. You guys are going to have to tell me if it's too loud because I do. I can go inside. But we'll see. We'll, we'll try first here. Um, Melly be liking for real, for real. How am I liking? We're here. Uh, Anthony, Hello. Corey King, Wits Hands, hello. Guys, if you want to come and talk to Autumn, I advise you to come early because uh, I receive a lot of emails for her. So I think it's going to be a, a packed show. And uh, we're going to see. Also, while we're waiting for her, uh, let me tell you what's going on. Uh, in, this de in the description of this video, there is the link to uh, finally announce where we are going so I have uh, 20 spots. I think it's a little less right now already. But I have 20 spots about, let's say about, about 20 spots to whoever want to come with me on vacation uh, on November 14th, the 14th to the 20th. And uh, after, I don't know if you saw on Instagram, I had put up a survey for where you guys would want to go. And the majority has said we're going to Costa Rica. So hopefully you guys want to go to Costa Rica. You got a little time to plan. What is it? Uh, what what are we july no we're in june june july august september october you got four months four months so uh go get the the stuff i think it, we're gonna have a lot of fun i hope you guys are gonna come if you don't come i'll still go but now after that i don't want to hear i don't want to hear oh we want to come and shit. i organized a whole trip where all of you can come i mean not all but 20. 20 of you can come and we can have some fun. There is activities, there is dinners, there is a bunch of shit and I'll be there the whole time. So we can finally meet, you know, we talked about the meet and greet and stuff and I was always not so sure about how to do it. But I think traveling is cool because a lot of people don't really travel. So I think it's a good idea that we can travel safely. We'll have a guide, we'll have everything ready to go. So you don't have to worry about it really. Just book the shit. And we go. What is this? Let me have this. Book the shit and we'll go. So the link, if you want the link, it's in the description of uh, this video. I think it's the first link that I put today. That's the first link. And um, then it's on Instagram. It's everywhere. So hopefully you guys show up. But you got a little time. I'll let you know when it's full, if it gets full. But you let me know. Um, all right, let me go text her because it's four minutes. And I'm like, where are you at? Sorry. So again, if you guys want to uh, mainly get pumped and dunk. Oh, that's that's how you feel. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Uh, <laughs> somebody talking about the trip is 20, 2,200. Yes. Like, how much do you think I spend when I, when I come here between hotels for, this one is like 10 days. But I change hotel on the thing. We change hotel. We go to different places. 
we have excursions, we get food. So what you're saying, uh, and it doesn't include flight. Yeah, that's <laughs> shit. That's how it works. So, so that's that's all I can tell you. But if you don't feel like it, you know, you don't come. I, I totally agree. And um, what you say, but if I come on my own, but go to dinner with y'all and do festivities, no, that's not how it works. You you gotta go the the way that it's set up. Okay, somebody say two thousand is cheap. Okay, well, hey, whoever, I don't know your pockets, but that's how it's gonna. That's how much it's gonna cost. So, so that that's that. If you can't, I understand. It's no, no pressure. You know me, no pressure. So let me text her. Where are you at? Yes. All right, let's see where she's going to be. Again, guys, the, the thing is uh, getting full. The, um, the room is getting full to talk to her. So come now. And um, yeah. All right, let's see what else. Um, Meli, why you look so sad? I look sad. <laughs> Maybe I'm tired. I'm not tired, actually. It's just the time difference is a little bit uh, kicking my ass, I would say. But it's not bad. Um, Meli, can you please pay for my trip? Um, pay my trip with you, really? So I got I gotta pay for your trip. I'm inviting you uh, to go meet me somewhere, but I gotta pay for your vacation. That's wild. Um, well, no, sorry, I will not be paying for your vacation. The same as I'm paying for mine. I think you should pay for yours. Uh, let's see. Uh, Somebody said, I noticed that in that video you posted earlier. I don't know what you noticed, that I was tired <laughs> or sad. Which one? I'm not sad. That's a fact. Um, what's good, DJ Light 11? John, you guys, you guys, you cannot be that cheap talking about, again, somebody else talking about fly me out. Really? You want a girl to fly you out? Come on, get a little, have a little respect for yourself. If you can't come, don't come. I hear you. But come on. Don't ask me to pay for your shit. The same as I don't ask you to pay for my shit. Um, there we go again. You guys, some people are here with the neg uh, negativity. Somebody say, stop begging for a trip. How am I begging? I'm inviting you. If you want to come, you come. If you don't, it's okay. I'll be there still. Um, all right. They're trying to get flued out. I see that. Where she at? Where is Autumn? This girl say 10 minutes. Girl. Well, sorry guys. I apologize. I talked to her earlier. Hey, okay. Well, I, I apologize. We're gonna we're gonna have to wait. Somebody say ten minutes mean thirty. I hope not. I mean, I'm not doing that. But not today. Not today. Because that's gonna be a good twenty minutes late now. If that's a real ten minutes. Um. Many way beyond pissed. I'm not pissed. It's okay. She on CP time. Guys, stop. Uh. All right. What else? What else should we talk about while we're while we're waiting for her. I apologize, everybody who is in here on time, bright and early. I apologize. Uh, so what are we talking about? I paid my deposit already. Vamos. Did you, Sterling? I don't know. I didn't get a notification. Well, Sterling is like, I'm going. Fuck what you're talking about. Um, all right, who else? What you guys saying? Hi, Melly. I bet I'm the only non-Frenchman in the chat room that has actually been to Monaco. I don't know. I've been to Monaco one time. It was cool. It's hell of expensive. Uh, you guys got jokes. We have to wait for autumn since this is June. You should have invited a girl named Summer. Really? <laughs> um, guys, stop asking. Somebody asked me why is she, why is she late. I don't know. I don't know why she late. You guys funny. Please say there are cigar bars that cigar smoker can hit during the trip. Of course, you know, it's on the Car Caribbean side. You know it's going to be cigars. 
Um, what? Uh, all right, what are we talking about? Can we have a a topic or something? I want to I want to talk to some of y'all that are waiting. I'm sorry you're waiting. Um, ninety day fiance. You want to talk about ninety? Everybody don't watch it, so I don't want to bore people. But that show is wild. Or before the ninety day, whichever you watch, they're they're both out of control. I think you guys should watch them. Um, what is? Uh, how is the trip going? Okay, well the trip is going good. Um, so we were in an area called uh, what is it Ubud? That was really nice. We that's so crazy the activities we did. There is an activity where you can go into somebody's house, and you see how they live, and you go in their bedroom, in their restroom, like everywhere you can see everything. It's wild but um it's it's interesting it's different you know uh bali is the place i need to be to go well you should and then now we are on the the beach side so we were more like around the, the mountains to, uh, next to the volcano and stuff and now we are uh by the beach so i'm gonna go party today i i have a friend of a friend who, who lives here and he's like yeah come over here it's a lot of parties going on today I'm like on a Monday. Uh, no, what is it? on a Tuesday? Is I like, here? Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll be there. Um, but we will see. I've never watched this show, but I already know everything because of many new stories. Well, you misspell my name, but it's okay. Um, well, I hope uh, uh, you're gonna have a good show. You're gonna enjoy it. I hope she's coming uh, shortly because um, talking about ten minutes. I'm trying. Um, let's see. Let's we'll see. She says she's almost almost ready. Um, my girl is amazing. Like that's always give me an ETA every 15 minutes. No time is valuable. Hey, I'm with you. I'm always trying to be on time. Uh, yeah, she, she's responding. She's just saying she's a little late. So we'll see. Again, I apologize, guys. I really apologize. Um, Brenda in the house. Is Brenda here? I didn't see her. Melly, I didn't receive an email after I signed up and paid the down payment. Is that normal? No, it is not normal. Send me an email. Send me an email. melimonaco one at gmail.com and then I'll go and check because, yeah, that is not normal. Um, what else? She's a diva, you guys say. I don't know. She's really nice. So I think we're going to have a good time. I apologize one more time. I need to stop apologizing. But, uh, yeah. We can have a 60K subscriber party. Hey, how are we having the party? I don't know. It's about to hit. Um, I don't know when. I mean, yeah, we don't know when, but I think probably today or tomorrow, we're about to get 600 subs. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed, everyone who supports. You already know. I appreciate you. Um, no, you guys are talking crazy. Uh, <laughs> you you guys are fucking funny talking about Autumn and what Autumn is doing right now. Um, but she, she's about to be here. She's responding, so we know she's coming. Uh, Meli, I think you and I would be perfect couple. We'd be a compliment to each other a side by side. Are we? Okay. Uh, no, sir. Like, there's enough 360 of me on Instagram, I think. You can you can find one. Um, wait, wait, wait. Somebody talking my, my net worth. Where did you find my net worth? Melly's net worth is $2 million. She can afford to travel the rest of us can. Whatever. I wish it was $2 million. Don't get me wrong. 
I am done. You you guys, you know, it's it's kind of early. I know it's probably late on your side, but for you guys to come at me like that, Melly needs a back blown out by a light-skinned man. Why he got to be light-skinned? Tell me. I got five good strokes for you, Melly. Just five. Still trying to get the high cholesterol down. Takim. Takim. You're on some other shit already. Um, Jose is here. Hello, Chips Ap uh, April, April, I think. April, yes, LLC. Thank you for being a member. Uh, let me borrow Emily. Yes, I, I need it too. Uh, she's irresponsible with time. Hey, I apologize. So I don't know what, what should we talk about? You guys need to help me. You know, I, I don't know what to talk about. I told you about my trip here. Oh, after here, I'm going to Thailand, by the way. Right now I'm in Bali and then I'm going to Thailand for, I think four or five days this time. And then back home. Also, my mom is coming. My mom coming to America and uh, I know she wants to go somewhere. So I'll probably take her somewhere. Um, Let's see. We need to bring hot pants and the Afro bag. What is hot pants? I don't know what that is. Is that an American thing? Show your toes. No. Um, no after show tonight. No. No, I'm not trying to do all of that while I'm here. Probably next week we do a after dark. Welcome, mom. Yes. I mean, she's been to America before, but since the... Um, pandemic she hasn't been here because she didn't want to take the vaccine and uh, so now she's like all right we don't need the vaccine no more so i'll come i'm like yes lady come see your daughter um hey tara tara talking about yeah i cut the life well you cut it we should uh, usually uh be on it but yet you're here we're here just with me um well thank you uh Meli, are you in bali with jennifer yes i am in bali with jennifer do you know jennifer are you do you know jennifer i know jennifer for years and um she lives in atlanta i've been trying to convince her to do the pineapple show but she's like no i don't like social media she's kind of shy I, I wouldn't say she's shy she just don't like social media so um, Grayson sponsoring the trip, fellas. Uh, Grayson should come actually to the trip. I don't. I don't know. He hasn't told me if he was coming. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer is my friend. She. That's who I'm with. I finally found somebody who wanted to go somewhere with me instead of me always going by my, uh, by myself. And uh, what are you guys talking about to remove the the catfish photo? Where is it? The catfish. Oh. Uh, natural talking some shit to uh, King B H Y. It's a catfish. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Melly's girlfriend. Yeah, she's uh, one of my friends. She's French too. So I, I think that's why we click. Uh, Grayson is definitely go going. Uh, chemistry said. I don't know. I don't know if he is. We'll see. Um, Melly, are you single? Yes, I am. Uh, bring Jennifer on the show. Where's she at? She, she's supposed to go grab breakfast, uh, but I don't think she want to come, you know. I doubt it. Yo. Odom better be a million. Hey, she better be. I agree with you. They're all catfish. Not everybody is a catfish. What are you talking about? Oh, wow. HS973. Thank you. Dinner on me tonight. Tell her I love her. Who are you? You know, you know Jennifer. Let me let me find Jennifer's IG. I don't know if you guys saw her. I put I posted her yesterday on my IG. Um okay. Autumn says she's coming on now. So I hope she she figures out she figures out how to how to come on let me show you jennifer i'm i've been trying to get jennifer for you because you guys be asking me about french girls that live in america that's one of them 
uh, let's see. She's going to be like, really? My shit don't work. The internet is pretty trash out here. I'm not going to lie. I'm even surprised that this is working. And I'm using the camera from the computer and not usually like my phone. Okay, so that's a picture. It's far, but the internet is not that good. So that's Jennifer. Um, so yeah, she's pretty, she's nice. Like really nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying, but the shit is not working. That's Jennifer. I don't know. She's in Atlanta. I told her I would pimp her out, and she's like, no, you're not. I, I'm going to show you. Oh, we're going to the pool today. I'm going to show you, Jennifer. Do not worry. <laughs> she's like, no. Nah. I'm like, yeah. Do not worry. That's Jennifer. And I think I think you guys would like her. So where she at? Yeah, she cute. Somebody said she cute. Hair, yeah. Uh, why are black women so angry? Are we? I'm not angry at all. I mean, don't play with me, but I don't think I fit that description of uh, angry black women. Um, what else? All right, Jennifer, yeah, ATL for life. Um, bang, 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 pops, boys. Uh, bring Jennifer on. I know, right? She She's here. She, she was taking a shower. But she said she no. I don't know if she left actually. I didn't hear her. Um, oh my God! You meet Jennifer and a threesome, really? Uh, I don't know. That's American angry black women on their period shit. Okay, I don't know. Somebody say happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Um. Yo, where is she at? Autumn. Let me see. You know, you know I'm like this with uh, guys too. It's not just for the show. I just don't like people who are not on time because I make a point to be on time because I don't like to make people wait. But Autumn is pushing it now. We're 22 minutes late. Like, Autumn, what you doing? Ignore gonna has a GoFundMe so he can stalk Melly in... Uh, really? No, nah, we're not doing that. I don't think Ignore is a stalker. I don't think so. But I think Ignore got to do some shit to be able to come, you know, so I don't think, you know. I don't think we'll see Ignore on the trip, but um, I'll try to record whoever comes to the trip. I mean, it's not a must. If you guys don't want to be recorded, I will not record you. But I think it's going to be fun. Uh, fun. Jose, Jose, are you coming? All the, the people, Jose, NEC, uh, Cetaris, uh, Pinarello, you guys are coming or not? Like you guys be talking, you guys be, be here all the time. Are you guys coming? Brenda, Brenda is a little far, so I'm not really expecting uh, Brenda to come. But hey, that would be that would be cool to see everybody. Yes, that would be. Um, where are the guest at? Yo, you are asking me. I'm asking myself. Where's she at? Um, what else? Is Brenda here? I didn't see Brenda. Elijah, what's up, Tonio? Board five. I apologize again. I do not like this. I really apologize. Let's see. I I, I don't know if she's having difficulties uh, logging on. I hope not. But um, let's see. So again, she's coming. So don't don't leave us just yet. She's coming. But um, if you want to come and shoot your shot at Autumn, you just click the link in the description of this video. And then um, 
you can talk to her. You enter the room and you can talk. Melly is getting thicker. Don't say that. I don't want to be thicker. I'm okay how I am. Um, what else? Don't sweat it. Thank you. Let me see. Wait, I, I'm coming real quick. Okay, so yes, Jennifer is still here. She's putting a she's putting a bathing suit on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she's gonna want to come and talk. But hey, that's an option. Where's she at? Melly rock that Rick James hair tonight. Is it Rick James got hair like that? Uh, oh, also, guys, if you if you're in a relationship and you want to come with your girl, you can like bring your girl. Like I would say, bring your bitch. Yeah, uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have fun. You don't have to come by yourself. You can come with another friend. You don't have to be just you and me and other people. You can bring your people if you want. Um, Melly, I have a couple of beautiful, intelligent women that single. They would like to come on your show. Oh, I thought you, would say, you were going to say they would like to come on the trip. Yeah, you can bring girls. Bring some girls. I mean, it's going to be girls in Costa Rica. Don't get me wrong. But hey, um, show, and they are not from Instagram. Well, I need to see their Instagram. They, they can come, but I, oh, I need to see pictures. I need to see something, you know? So, so that's, that's the problem. Tell them to email me or to send me some pictures, something. Here, late guests better, uh, better not get up here and start acting stuck up or picking. Hey, we are going to see. I can't believe her. My daughter was up and fussy. Uh. Okay, so she's still communicating, so it's still good. So... So let's see. I don't know. Let's see. I, I'm I'm gonna need to talk. I'm gonna see. Wait, let me go talk to Jennifer real quick, real quick. I, I don't go nowhere. Hey, it's more over here. I don't say Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Uh, I asked Jennifer, she's like, no, I can come say hello, but uh, I will not, I will not do the show. She's like, uh, in French, she's like, ça va pas ou quoi? Uh, <laughs> she's laughing. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, she better get over here. I don't know, she said no, I'm sorry guys. I tried, I've been trying for years and she, she her answer is still the same. So it's a no. Uh, happy, somebody say happy belated, uh, happy Father's Day. Yes, happy Father's Day to all the daddies on here. Daddies. Um, what else? Ah. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is a hot mess, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should have pushed the show back an hour, but I guess she didn't know. All right. Uh, what you guys talking about? Melly looks like she's not a morning person. 
You are right. I mean, it's funny. You can say I'm not the morning person, but I get up every day at uh, about seven o'clock when I'm in LA. So I am kind of a morning person. It takes me a long time to, you know, get out of the haze, but I be up though. Um, uh, she straight ghosted. She didn't ghost. She's answering. So. Yeah, Jen, I don't know. Jen was getting dressed. Uh, your post says 6.30. No, it doesn't. Hey, Costa Rica trip is the week of my birthday. I'm there. Hell yeah. I hope you're coming. So again, for whoever came late, we're going to Costa Rica on November 14th. If you guys want to come, the link is in the description of the video. You can just go and book your stuff over there. Everything is set up, all the hotels, the transfers from the airport, um, everything. So the activities, some dinners, some food, you know, all of that. And then we can add some stuff. I didn't pack it, pack it, so we can talk and decide on some stuff we want to do also. Like, but not just we, but like, because I pick what I think you guys would like. But uh, we can talk about it, you know. It's not a set plan if you guys want to do something else. Um, Melly, what's your favorite color? It is green. Green. Um, wow, you guys are weird. Melly, can I sniff your chair when you get up? Wow, that's what you want to smell? Melly, are you paying for one of your followers? No, I am not. I'm paying for my trip. So whoever can pay for them, they can. If you can't, we'll try another trip. Um, what are you saying? Melly never put the girl picture on until the minute before showtime and and call, make sure she's coming first. Why? If I don't put it, you might not come. Because you're like, you know, I think you see the girl and you decide if you want to come. So why wouldn't I? And I talked to her. She said she was coming. So I don't know. Let me see. Autumn, where you at? Autumn is playing with us right now. Autumn. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, okay, somebody say, because it's free clout is what I think it, it means. Well, I mean, I guess, but she would get way more clout if she comes to the show, I think, and that you guys talk to her and like her. That's what I think, but I don't really care. Uh, um, yes, yeah, she is. Let me see. Let me see if Jennifer want to come say hello. Jen, you prêt? I'm stupid. Okay, so J Jennifer is here. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> so, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, well, I think she already said a little bit about me. I'm Jennifer. I was born in Paris, <laughs> just like her. And I grew up in the Caribbean, though, in the French Caribbean, in Guadeloupe. And uh, I've been in, uh, in Atlanta for for a long time now, very long time. And now we are in Bali. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. OK, they just wanted to say, hey, they wanted to talk to you. Uh, there's somebody who acts like he knows you. Cool. So I don't know. Um, he put uh, something on the screen, but um, I don't know his name, really. That's just his channel name. So 
I don't really know. Yeah, they're loving it. <laughs> Are you two dating? No, we're not Absolutely gay. Absolutely not. <laughs> like the fuck? We're not into women, okay? <laughs> I mean, they say I'm gay all the time, so. They think that you are gay? No. Yes. Mary is strictly dickly, okay? <laughs> dickly? <laughs> dickly, dickly, yes. <laughs> I've known her for many years, and she's only been with guys. Mm-hmm. They say they want to show, they want to see your toes. My toes? <laughs> what kind of people are those? What's going on? What is this? <laughs> They're talking shit, Shippa. What are you, old lesbian? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no. It's we a, are not. It's a fire. Lunch. Let's make a French sandwich. It's somewhere out of control. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting on the... On the girl, and um, yeah, what's a, what are you about to do? Tell them what you're about to do. I'm just about to go get breakfast and then uh, go to the pool and then enjoy the weather because it's what like 9 30 here, yeah, 9 36, so still pretty early, but we still uh, messed up with the, the jet lag. Mm -hmm. Like, I wake up every day in the middle of the night for about three hours and I can't go to sleep. And then right when the sun comes up, I'm, that's when I'm tired and I'm ready to go back to sleep. Yeah. So just the pool today, probably. And maybe the pool and probably the, the, beach. the beach. Yeah. The beach was not all that, though. It wasn't, yeah. This beach is regular. Yeah. What's her IG? Okay. Uh, let me put it on the screen. <laughs> I'm going to go find her IG for you. Attends, peut-être tu peux taper, ça va être plus vite. C'est deux ans, non? Ouais. Vas-y. Vas ah, fuck. Je fais quoi? Je fais le hat, c'est parti quelque part d'où? Ah, vas-y. If you want to go check her out, right, check her out. There's, does she have fine friends? <laughs> That's what I read, I don't know. This is Jennifer's IG. If you guys want to go check her out. What? They say this French chick is a complainer. She's single for a reason. Do you know if Jennifer is single? Do you I'm know? a complainer. I don't know if they're talking about me or you. But um, uh, do we complain? <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't complain. We just, we just state facts. That's it. Um... Somebody say, Autumn is not coming. I just spoke to her. She's not coming at all. How do you talk to Autumn? Oh. <laughs> how Autumn is answering you? Uh, how tall is Jen? 5'10". Yeah. Um, they say her page is private. Yeah, she's private. But some request, I will uh, <laughs> let you in, maybe. <laughs> How do you decide how you let them in? Uh, you know what? At this point, it's so many waiting. I'm just going to just open it real quick. And then whoever is following is asking, I mean, is sending a request. Yeah, I'm going to get lucky while it's uh, open because it's too many requests at this point. Who are these people down here? Are the people one waiting, waiting, waiting to, talk to talk to, to Adam? Yes. Adam, you got people waiting for you. I know, I don't you know. Got a few guys doing. waiting. Yeah. I see Shaw, I see Jay. Wait, let's talk to Shaw. Shaw, you want to talk to us? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah. What's going uh, on? Chilling, chilling. Just tuning in. I like I like um hearing y'all talk about traveling and moving around. Yeah. Like you going to Indonesia, Bali, about to yeah, hit up yeah. Thailand. Y'all been to Thailand already? Not yet. She has. I yeah. have not yet. Which, I went which, for like 24 hours. So. Which, which What part of Thailand you was in? Uh, Bangkok. Bangkok. We're going Bank to Bangkok. Hey, mm -hmm. Bangkok Bangkok is the number one city in the world. Is I've it? Heard, you been? I've, I've been? I've been. I've been in a lot of cities around the world. And like kind of grew up around New York, Hawaii. Been to LA, Miami, Dubai, London. Um, mm -hmm. Dominican Republic, Tijuana, okay, Tokyo. 
Well, India, India, Sri Lanka, but Bangkok. Yeah, yeah Bangkok. Nice. Bangkok is like, nice. Yeah, they got everything. a lot to do there. It's like yeah, a lot. It's it's like the num the most diverse. Okay, I'm excited. That's good. Yeah. Good to know. And and a lot of freedom there too. Everything goes, you know. Like if you just want to go to a smoke shop, chill out. They got nice lounges. And at beaches, you gotta go. I don't know if y'all going to Phuket or um I don't know how far is that from Bangkok. If it's like close enough, maybe we'll go. Phuket, you might have to take a little plane, probably like for like uh, forty dollars. You, you could take a plane oh, for like that's not bad. Yeah, but for I like don't know about getting on the plane again, honestly. It took it's, it's way too long to get here. No, and then if, we still gotta catch another plane. But if you yeah, you're gonna be taking a lot of planes, like when you're in Asia, those parts of Asia, a lot of boats maybe. But Phuket is like maybe an hour flight from Bangkok, but it'll be worth it. Or you can go to Pattaya. Go to Pattaya. Pattaya Beach, probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Pattaya. Okay. So okay, yeah. sounds good. And well, and I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna be doing when we're there. So yeah, thanks well, for the recommendation. Well, look, you say, and you from you from the islands too. You from the from Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe. So you know about good. Yeah, yeah, y'all got some of the most beautiful. It's some of the most beautiful people in the world over there too. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I agree. I, I see the theme. I'm, I'm gonna take a trip out there for sure. But um, but I just say that um, so you know about good fruit and everything. Thailand got a lot of good fruits, a lot of good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And get some massages while you over there too. Oh, we had one yesterday with oh. a group. It was pretty nice too. You gotta you then you gotta have a massage every everywhere you go just to just to like compare who got the best ones you know and then um, maybe we'll try it maybe yeah. we'll have time to do it yeah for sure but yeah i just jumped on just to holler you know okay well thank up. you all right well, hopefully she's coming so stick around now i'm, I'm you know i'm good I like just I'm got, okay. yeah 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 all, all right, right well, you have a good day bye well, uh, the the room was full for Autumn, and I mean she's forty two minutes late. People are starting to yeah, to be that's, gone. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool. Don't make people wait like this. Uh, the two of you ladies are going to have the black men and passport bros going to Paris, and not the Dominican Republic. Very beautiful. Well, thank you. Thanks. Uh, I mean. I, I was gonna say the the beautiful women in Paris are from the islands, <laughs> so True. you might want to go to the islands to like the French ones or you know other islands. Um, somebody say Jennifer is way better than Autumn. Jennifer don't want to do the show because we could do the show with her here, but she's like, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> no, she got guests for a reason. I'm just I'm just looking today. I'm just saying hello. You're just looking. I'm just, you know. Yeah. Giving my two cents while we're waiting. Okay. Do you recommend people to um, to travel? Absolutely. Especially if you are in the United States, you have to get out of that country at least once. You gotta you gotta get a passport, and definitely go outside. Where would you recommend? For somebody that don't travel much, where do you think? I mean, you can start. You can travel. start with the Caribbean. Go to. They can go to Costa Rica. <laughs> oh, and they can go to Costa Rica. Yeah, yes, I think actually from Atlanta, it's only like four four hours. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's about four hours away from Atlanta. So, you guys need to go ahead and book. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll go there. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because uh, I can bring somebody with me, and uh, I'm probably gonna bring her. So. See, what are they asking? What is this? The 360. No, <laughs> <laughs> my child is crazy. Yes, they're gonna ask for the most, so you just gotta say no. That's all, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. But yeah, if you want to travel, definitely, if you're not a, a big traveler, start with the Caribbean or South America, and then, then you can venture out venture out to like europe and then cross the ocean which is about eight hours on a plane and then or you can you can try all the way over here wherever we are but that's not for even me i'm used to traveling and this was far for me that is a longest flight it was so long 
you're there in love. We are all the way on the other side of the world, like literally. But it's beautiful though. Yeah. Is she your sister, Melly? No. We're not blood related. Mm -mm. Her smile. They're, they're liking you. Jennifer is stealing the show. Yeah, she is. Really? <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> See. So, so uh, passport, bro. I got my passport. So let's go to Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica is close, too. That's that's one you can do. From Atlanta, it's like four hours. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably even closer. Yeah. But yeah, you guys need to go ahead and book that uh, that trip to Costa Rica. So yes, we can start doing with many more. She can start doing many more. And she'll come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, well, you can go have breakfast. I think I'm just going to end the live. I don't think she's coming. And um, That's not cool. Yeah. I just, it's been 45 minutes. 45 minutes. She told me 10 minutes. She said, I'm logging in. I was going to cancel, but is it possible to still join? Yes, come now. Come on. All right, well, thank you. All right, yeah. bye, guys. <laughs> bye. They said 360. No, no, I'm going to do it. They are... Uh, let's see. Okay, she said she's still coming. She she just said she said okay, I was gonna cancel because now I'm too late and I don't want you know, but um, I say come, so she can still come. Um, let me see. Somebody sent some money. I don't know what she said. Let me find it. Here we go. Jay, thank you. Happy Father's Day, fellas. It felt great to wake up, be here on Earth, twenty five years, and kick it with my kiddo. Hey, Jay. Happy Father's Day. Uh, yeah, what did you guys do? Whoever has kids on here, what you guys did? Uh, Jennifer, you guys want to talk to Jennifer? We're, we're waiting to talk to um, uh, Autumn. She said she's coming. I think she would have stopped texting by now. I think she's coming. So Jennifer gets a free ticket. Jennifer is my guest, so I'm going to pay for my girl. But you guys, I can't pay for you guys. Like, come on now. So now you can go on vacation with me and Jennifer. She don't know I'm pimping her out, but she will be there. So you can come. Uh, Melly and Jen are both sexy. I think they both are hot. Well, thank you. Uh, better uh, to come late than to come to not come at all. Why are you writing come like this? What are, what are you implying? Um, let's see. Brenda here. Hey, Brenda. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, good. Long time. Long time. Did you get your hair? No, no, I never cut it. It's just, it's cold. No. It's no, cold. It's cold in South Africa? <laughs> yes, it's winter. I didn't know it gets cold over there. How? It's how not cold? freezing, but it's cold. How cold? I don't know how to say how cold. What's the degree? The degrees? What's the temperature? Oh, not so, 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 so cold. But it's cold for us. Tell me the it's temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going to tell me? 15 degrees. 15. Okay, it is that 15 degrees Celsius? Yes, yes. It's not too bad, but yeah, I, I feel you. Yeah, I don't know what is that in Fahrenheit, but because I'm used to Celsius, you know, so yeah, it's not too hot. I agree. It's not so too hard. I'm good. I'm good. You good? Okay. You're tired? Yes. I'm, I'm working overtime. The other lady is sick. Well, make some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Enjoy your what holiday. Time? Oh, thank you. What time you're getting off? Eight o'clock. It's Eight only, yeah, it's only going for four o'clock. Okay. Four more hours. Right. Four more hours. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you. And, yeah, you uh, too. We'll talk soon then. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay. We got Brenda. Uh, somebody say, is it Melly's cousin? Yes. Brenda is my cousin. Brenda is cool. Yes, she is. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. What should we do, guys? Are we waiting? Because she says she's coming. Um, I don't know. But she's still not here. I don't know how that works. I, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, who else is here? We got... Let me see. Okay, Jay want to talk. Okay, we're going to talk to Jake. Hey, Jay. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was hoping that Jennifer was going to stay on because uh, she would have came in a clutch for you. But she don't want to do the, the dating the dating part of it. So, mm -mm. Well, Just to hold a conversation because I obviously, uh, I don't know, a lot of people support you. I support you. And um, with Autumn acting like she's too good, nah, like I don't, think, I don't think she's acting like she's too good. I think she got shit going on, and you know, she's but why is she? I guess for me, like it's disrespecting you because you have a whole platform, and so uh, me personally, I'll give you 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes tops because this is looking, you know, like a certain type of way for you, and you got a face to like, you know, hold up, you know what I'm saying. I mean, if it was if it was just for me, like you know, if I go on a date and the person is ten minutes late, I'm out, like because right. it's for me. But I have you guys. I make you come, and you know, and I'm trying to still have the show for you. So hopefully, she can show up, you know. But um, well, yeah, yeah. I just like I, you know, I always come on here to try to support a little bit, and mm -hmm. so um, thank you. I don't know. I definitely think. Uh, Jennifer could definitely benefit you right now in this situation. <laughs> yes, I don't want to don't don't want to do the dating, so I can't. Yeah. Oh, she's here! Wait, Autumn is here. She's okay. here. I can't wait to talk to her now, man. Uh, yes, let let's let's see. Autumn, they they're mad at you, Autumn. Okay, guys, please. I'm literally <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> I have a tiny daughter. She's four, so a lot was going on just now. She sleeps, so. Okay. Yes. Well, I appreciate you for still being here. They're mad, so I'm telling you already that I <laughs> went out of, I mean, it's been, girl, it's been 52 minutes. I know, but, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, well, how was your day? Hectic, very hectic. Mm-hmm. What very, did you very do? Very hectic. Um, hmm, I woke up, I had this little fan, and I don't know where it's at right now. But I woke up, um, I went, did like my hair, nails, feet, everything, like you know the self care stuff, and mm -hmm. then I came back at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. So, would you like to introduce yourself uh, to my people so they know a little bit more about you? Um. Okay. So you know, I do music. I have a daughter. Um. I'm a broker. I think that's about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Staten Island, but I live in Brooklyn. Uh, in Brooklyn. Okay, you live in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, what what type of music do you make? I rap, but okay. my rap is very versatile. Like I could switch it up. I could do like the you know the tough stuff. I could do the soft stuff, the lovey dovey stuff. Mm -hmm. It all depends. Okay. Uh, so you say you have a daughter. She's four. Mm -hmm. You are single, right? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Just making yeah. sure. Uh, what do you like to do on your spare time? Travel. If I'm not yeah. making money, I just want to travel. Honestly, that's the thing that makes me happy. Like, I'm happy when I'm on an island. You know what I'm saying? I got the music going. I'm experiencing a new culture. That's, like, my favorite thing to do. When I'm down, hop on a plane. Okay. <laughs> where where yeah. have you been so far? Sheesh. Um... All right, so my last trip was DR, before that was Tulum, before that was Cancun, before that was Jamaica, I think it was. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, a couple other places, but. You're traveling, that's good. Yeah. Okay, um, what else? What, what you do at home when, not at home, but like in Brooklyn when you're not traveling for fun? I prefer to not do anything out here. And if I'm being honest, I don't really like, you know, I'm from New York, so it's almost like any spot that I go to, I'm gonna see somebody I know, and I don't okay. really like the mix. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that part of like New York. So 
I'd rather mm-hmm. just kind of go places where, you know, like, I'm going to see new people. I want to meet new people. I want to experience new things. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do you want to tell us your age or no? I'm 25. 25. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So so let's talk about the men of your dreams because that's who we're going to try to find. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna manifest that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yes. try this light off. Uh, yeah, let's let's talk about that. So the man okay. of my dream. Hmm. So t- talk to me about his personality. Can I turn this light off? Is it still good, lady? Okay, so it's the man of my dream, good. his personality, huh? Is it still good? It looks good with the other one too, with the white one. Okay, yeah. this one, this one is so strong though. It's too bright. I'm saying, yeah, hmm. yeah. No, that's I fine. think that's better. Yeah. yeah. So the man of my dreams would be yes. physically. Uh, the, we can do we can do anything physically, mentally, whatever. Okay, so let's start with physically. If I could pick a man, like if I could build a guy, <laughs> I mm-hmm. would say like you know, tall, real tall, dark skin. You know, he got to have some culture. What else? You say tall? How tall? Six five. <laughs> I want him to be able to pick me. Like I'm five too. So I want to be picked up, like you know, oh like when I'm, when I'm upset, pick me up. <laughs> I'm so mm-hmm. scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so let, let's see. Okay, I know that's the, the dream, but if mm-hmm. what is the shortest you would date? I have dated, I, I dated a guy my height, and I'm 5'2. Five 5'2. Two. Five two. So okay. phys, physical is like something that I, I have preferences physically, but it's not always about like the way somebody looks. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if you really got a good personality and like, you know what I'm saying, your head is on your shoulders and things like that, I would, I would date. I wouldn't mind, but I would prefer somebody. For sure. So, <laughs> but you up. can do you can do your height and above. You could. I don't. I don't want to. You don't want to. I hear. I hear I? you want six five. But let's say he has everything you want. Is just five five. You're going. Oh, for five five is good. That's good. It's good. Okay. It's taller than me, so that's that's fine. Okay, so we'll say five five is the minimum. Yeah. Okay, uh, you say chocolate, right? You like chocolate. Mm-hmm. Do you date uh, other races or no? <laughs> hey, it, it's your show. You gotta tell us what you like. So Do I, don't, I don't come for you. I'm like a very, I'm a very like pro black type of black. woman. Like I love a black man. Like you know what I'm saying? I just love a black man. My dad, he's light, but he's also, like you know, he you know he gives me very strong black man mm-hmm. vibes. So that's kind of what I prefer. But again, I'm very open minded. So if I meet somebody and they're like of a different race, I wouldn't say like, oh no, I, I can't date him because he's white or he's this or he's that. Mm-hmm. I would be open minded. Maybe you are open to learning about my culture, my things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. you prefer a black man, but you are still open. Yes. Okay. Uh, how much money does he need to make? <laughs> the maximum. <laughs> the maximum. <laughs> the maximum. Yes, I, you know, us women, we like nice things. We like, I'm very like, how do you, how do I explain it? I'm like a traditional dater, you know? I'm a woman that I'm going to do all of my womanly duties. So I do want a man that can provide because everything else is like that kind of falls on a woman say if you get pregnant and you know you want to be able to sit down sometimes you don't want to have to work through your pregnancy hard if you don't want to you know if that's your choice then that's your choice but if you don't want to you want to be able to sit down you know you're gonna have to feed the babies the man the everybody under the roof you gotta cook you gotta clean you gotta so it's like the least you can do is provide a house so i can make it a home you know at least you can you know, provide, period. I would prefer a man I could provide. So I don't really want anybody that's struggling. I'm just being honest. Okay. So what what do you think is a good amount where he's not struggling? Or where you could like a, a, a yearly salary? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So right now, I... Honestly, and it don't, he doesn't have to be rich. Like, if he has a regular, you know, like a job, Mm-hmm. I would say like a, a hundred. <laughs> I don't. 100. I really don't know what the average like person in America make. I'm just being honest. That's, so that's I would. Like, I would say like a hundred thousand. Okay. 
I think the average is about 60. So, yeah. I mean, does it does it cover the bills and things? Do you have more <laughs> dreams? Do you have dreams to make? Here's the thing, right? You can make, you can currently, you know, have like a job. You can work at McDonald's right now and I meet you and then get just a person with these big dreams and you have a plan. A man that has a plan can date mm -hmm. you. If you have no plan and you just like, let's say, you know, I work at McDonald's and that's what I do and that's what I want to do forever, I'm not going to, I can't be with you. But if you're saying like, listen, I work at McDonald's, but I got like 20000 in the bank right now, I'm about to put that into this. I'm just here so I could, you know, pay the bills. But, you know, I'm about to start this business and here's my plan and I'm listening and it makes sense. Um, I could do it. I'm all for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you would prefer a hundred, but you are open to a little less. Yeah. If you okay. have a plan. If you have a plan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you have kids? Yes. Okay. Hey, I, I got to ask. Under, under conditions. Okay. <laughs> under what, conditions. what is it? The conditions are, it, the situation with the mom you know, it can't be like some something where like you're going back and forth to her or she's like confused mm -hmm. of the situation. Like, you know, if you're my man, then I need everybody to understand you are my man. I need people to be respectful of that. I don't want anybody that's like, oh, you know, my kids can't be around her because yeah. I should be your one. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that. I want it to be like a healthy co-parenting situation. And I'm not one to judge because my co-parenting situation is not... <laughs> It's not the best, but me personally, I'm mm -hmm. a good parent. You know what I'm saying? And I try to always keep things healthy. So, you know, as long as he's like that type of person and, you know, you're not still messing with the kid's mom, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, and what age range would you like to date? It don't matter. As long as it's above, I'm 25, so it has to be at least 23 and up. Okay, 23 and up. What's the oldest? I don't know if I want to answer that because they're going to judge me. I, I don't, I'm open to dating somebody older. Like, I went wrong. It all depends on the situation. Okay. Okay, sure. All right, so guys. Uh, good. <laughs> hey, everybody can come. That That's good. So, so guys, we're looking for mostly a black man, 5'5", five five, makes about 100K, or has a plan. Oh if he makes less, has a plan to, to get better. Uh, you can have a kid or two, but no situation with the, the baby mom. And, um, you know, you just got to be able to afford everybody. Okay, okay shit. All right. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I think that's it. And between 23 and 50, wh whatever you want. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. <laughs> hey, but you know, there's some 50 that, that look young. They look good. Trust I'm telling you, know? TikTok has my mind. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> yeah. You know, you see like the relationship goes, you know, videos and then the guy's like fifty, but he looks real good. Like I'm talking yeah, about man. body built, yes. salt and pepper hair. You just like, damn, he's handsome. Exactly. So uh I know they're gonna ask you, so you say your situation with your dad with the dad of your kid is not so good. Okay. Uh is he around or not at all? Who that is this is a hard topic to talk about, but I will talk about it. Um, he is not, it's such a complicated, it's not like he's not around. Well, right now he's incarcerated, but mm, okay. the problem is it's like he's so stubborn. Or okay. I, I'll say, I'll speak on my behalf because him, it's like his mind, I don't know. But I'll speak on my behalf. Personally, it's like, okay, you know, you asked to be around and when I gave you that opportunity I'll just say it like that because it's a very long story but when I gave you the opportunity like okay you know I'm gonna I'm let you you mm -hmm. know go through with that I'll let you be a dad and all of that it was like I remember one day he kind of like asked me you know like you know do you want to be a family or whatever we gonna do that part and I'm just like huh <laughs> and it was almost like I swear ever since I kind of said like no it's like his whole mood kind of changed towards me. And then when I'm like, all right, whatever, like, you know, you, I, I'm starting to see you for who you are, you know, the disrespect and things like that, things of that nature. I really don't want to say much, but things of that nature, I started realizing certain things and I'm like, whoa, something is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Of course, you know, I laid down with you. I did what I did and we're here. So I okay. always try to like say like, you know, all I want you to do, just do what you got to do, be in her life. And it's like every time 
we kind of get to that point where it's like, all right, we're having a healthy conversation. Some type of disrespect comes, and I'm, I just mm. be saying like, do you have impulse issues? Like, what's the, what's yeah. the problem? Okay. What is wrong with you? You know, so it gets like that. And what I will say is, no matter what, I always try to say like, let me just let her talk to her. Like, I never put anything in her head. I'll say that I never put anything in her head. So it's like, oh yeah, that is the word. I don't like him. Da, da, da. I always make her feel loved because I need my child to feel like she has an army, even if she don't have both of us in the ways that she should. Yeah. But, you know, I take care of her by myself 100%. I say that and I don't care who gets mad. I, I'm i talking about like every bill, everything I do by myself financially. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it is what yeah. it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but I'm a good okay. mom and she's good. So it's not like I'm coming with a whole bunch of baggage and she's fine and I'm good. Okay. I was asking because they're going to ask you. So now it's out of the way, you know. Now they got it. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. So so we're going to start. So I'm going to bring a man at a time. Uh, you can talk to him. You can whoa, ask whoa. him a question. <laughs> you're going you gonna to have men come with him? Yeah. I, I'm still gonna be here. <laughs> no, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't know that. Excuse my belly, guys. Oh, oh you, you're fine. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring him in at a time. You can talk to him, ask him questions. He's gonna ask you questions. And uh, if you're not feeling the vibe, like you know, you're not really into him, or maybe just a friendly vibe or whatever, you just say pineapple, and we move on to the <laughs> next guy. Yes. Also, Hi. if you. If you do like him, after you talk a little bit, you can tell him, hey, slide in my DMs or whatever. You don't have to say pineapple to end the conversation if you actually mm-hmm. like him. Mm-hmm. Also, there is an instant pineapple. So the chat participates in the show. So that if they mm-hmm. feel like they don't like this guy for you, they mm-hmm. will send a $20 super chat and that would pineapple the guy for you. What? But the guy can always come back. If you mm-hmm. do like him, he can come back until you say if you're the one saying pineapple, he don't come back. If the okay. chat's pineapple and you like him, he can come mm-hmm. back. Okay. That's, those are the rules. That's it. After that, you do okay. what you want. All right. Let's so let me put uh, your IG on here if you guys want to go check her out. It's uh, Miss MS underscore Autumn Star. There we go. I'm mm-hmm. going to put it on the screen. She has a bunch of cute pictures. You guys should go check mm-hmm. that out right now. So, all right, let, let's do it. We got, we got Jay. Hi, hey. Jay. Hey, Melly. Hey, Autumn, how, are you? how are you doing? I'm good. Good. So you said you were 25? Yeah. Okay. And so uh, it's a lot to unfold here. <laughs> um, uh, are you ready? Don't... Are you ready to date? I mean, I've been dating all this time. I mean, like, so, like something serious. Like, Melly's show is really like trying to enlighten women, enlighten men to like mm-hmm. bring realistic standards. You said a hundred thousand. A lot of people don't make a hundred thousand. It's hard for people to even make eighty thousand. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I don't know. Like, are you like serious about like moving forward and kind of creating a life for you and your daughter? So to answer. I'm going to hit every point that you just hit, right? So the first one, you asked me, am I ready? I'm absolutely ready. Like, I was already in a, it might not seem long, but I'm, remember, I'm only 25. So the longest relationship I was in was about three years. And from the beginning, we kind of just, like, moved in together. I did the whole little housewife, plain housewife thing. I did the, you know, your man, when he wake up in the morning, he got to wake up to breakfast. Like, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know the mistakes that I made. We even did, like, a little therapy thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm very emotionally intelligent. I'm 25, but I have, like, a lot of skills. I'm not just, like, the average 25-year-old Instagram baddie walking around. I'm just cute on top of the things that I come with. But, yes, I am ready. As far as the 100,000, I kind of just made up a number. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what a regular job makes. You know what I'm saying? I know people, like, I'll I'll give you an example, right? If you don't mind me asking, hold on, hold on. Uh, Like, Mm -hmm. what do you do for a living? I'm a broker. You're a broker, so a real estate broker. Okay, you so you could be making ninety, maybe six figures. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, actually, so you want when, somebody on, on your of, level. On top of that, though, I was like my first job that I ever had was when I was seventeen. I worked at KFC, and I know how hard that shit is. I'll be honest. I worked right at KFC. It was terrible. I realized that I'm a terrible listener. 
I cannot follow instructions when I feel like I'm not being paid the amount. They're like, I learned a lot. Y'all paying me these pennies and then I'm 17, so y'all don't want to give me hours and y'all trying to make me look like, you know, I realized the things that I wanted very early in life. So from there, I'm not going to lie, I started bartending from when I was 18 years old, legally and everything. And I made a lot of money. So from there, I was like, no, I can't go back to a regular job. So ever since then, I kind of was just like going up, up, up. And now that I'm a mom, it's a little bit harder, you know, to do certain things that I want to do, but I get shit done. So I I need somebody that got the bag because I'm I'm busting my ass out here. (laughs) (laughs) I got you. The only red flag is that you got your baby, your your baby's father Mm -hmm. is incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So like. What makes that a red flag? Like, has he ever seen you with another dude? That that's not really his business. No, no, I know, but you know, some guys have an ego thing, and you know, once he sees you happy with somebody else, that could be a whole new can of worms that you. We haven't... already, we already kind of passed that. <laughs> it's so funny that you say that because he gets his has his girlfriends and has his. Um... <laughs> Who is that? Well, Jay, another Jay, because uh, I don't he signed up for himself. Said imposter times two. I don't know. He didn't want um, him to keep talking to you. Did you like him? What did you think? I mean, he said, you know, my little hundred thousand is that's a red flag right there. So I don't know. I got big dreams and I have big goals in life, and I can't be, you know, having nobody want me to settle. So mm-hmm. pineapples. I should have said pineapple. <laughs> yeah. It's up to you. It's your show. So let's it's see. We, it's your show. We got more people for you. Okay, let's go. Super hey, Tech. Bro. Y'all doing it, day, man. Hello. Hello. Peace is... Wait, she isn't it Juneteenth? She blacked out. Whoa, y'all blacked out on us. My brother was calling me. I'm sorry. Wait, oh, no, no. on D&D. Oh, all right. All right, all right. Happy Juneteenth to y'all. Yeah. Happy Juneteenth. Yeah. Uh, who, is, who is interested? Which one? I mean, shoot me. I'm interested. Okay, so so why you're you're on there with your friend? Well, because you know what I'm saying we couldn't make a choice, so we just said forget it. We going both got on. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you pineapples, why. Pineapples, pineapple. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I got. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> we couldn't make a choice. No, sir. Um, let's see. We got Chandler. <laughs> Hi, Chandler. What's up, bear? What's up, man? Hi, uh, what's up? I know what y'all got going. You know what for you to going. start, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I just want to say you cute. Um, Thank you. Do a chat too. And um, hopefully we'll see each other one day. Thank it's, you. That's it. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. All right, goodbye. Play now. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, hold on. Before anybody else joins, y'all can do that in my DM. Please come with some questions and make them spicy because I'm ready to turn it up. Like, come on, y'all. Make them spicy. I'm not going to get uncomfortable. I'm going to answer. Okay, shit. I'm with you. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want to talk to Autumn, there is the link in the description of the video, or you can just send me an email, but click the link. Mm-hmm. All right, we got more. Hi, Tyreek. Hello, Tyreek. What's good? What's good? Hey, y'all, you introduced yourself, so I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Tyreek. I'm a senior. At um A and T University in North Carolina, mm-hmm. I'm 22. And Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, with... is that that's a college? Yeah, North Carolina A and T. Okay, it's, okay, yeah. It's the number one uh, public HBCU in the country. Mm-hmm. So you know, I'm studying finance and a minor in accounting. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> sure. mm-hmm. hey, any questions? Are you supposed to have the questions for me, honey? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Sure. Um, shit, I'm 22. You say your youngest is 23. So, you know, what you think about that? Honey, you better come with these questions. 22 is kind of, that's young. But you know what, though? I think I'm I'm open to 22. 22 is fine. It's not that bad. Yeah, I understand I'm 22, but I'm ambitious. And then, you know, I got a good head on my shoulders. And, you know, I got a plan. <laughs> Yo, these comments are funny. But no, yeah, you know, you sound great. You sound like an amazing guy. 22, too, that's too young for me, though. Yeah. It is, I, I don't really want to write that's 23, but, you know, I appreciate you coming on here. All right, for sure. Deuce. 
All right, bye. All right. Y'all gotta come with questions. I don't <laughs> something. Guys, don't come on like being shy or nothing. Just come and talk. Please don't come being shy. Oh my goodness. I'm not a shy person, so let's see. I got Sean. Hi, Sean. Now Sean. I can't hear Yo, you, Sean. Can <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. My allergies. I'm so sorry sure about that. My fault. Mm -hmm. We hear you now. Um what's going on? I was wondering if anyone in in this chat has any um, suggestions on how to work out, even though for for people who have asthma. How to work out for people that has asthma? Yeah, because I have severe asthma, and so I'm trying to um, find a way to work out that doesn't involve me going to the hospital every time I, every time I do so. Um, well, Sean, I yeah. have asthma, so wow. what I what I I'll tell you what I do because I have asthma. Um, I just work out as much as I can, but you know you don't do things that are too strenuous on your lungs. If you yeah. want to go to the gym, you you know maybe like some push ups or maybe like you know things that are, don't run too much. Running is oh. definitely gonna give you an asthma attack, but yeah, do things that are, work at your own pace. You know you're not in a rush. You're not. In, okay. and look, don't do cardio. Somebody said, don't do cardio. Try your best not to overdo it because you're not in a rush. Also, I was wondering, um, and you, please don't hesitate to tell me if any of my questions um, make you feel not good because I, I want you to be happy. I want you to be respected and I'm listening and to smile. Um, so I was wondering if you had any um, experience or knowledge about autism or not? I do not, but I think the best um, way to just go about it is be kind. I don't really have any knowledge or experience, but you know, you never know what the future holds. I'm not sure if you saw this in the chat, but um, I'm actually working towards being a autism trainer for the UN. Well, that is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. I think that's very productive. I think it's great. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what um, if you could talk to yourself when you worked at KFC, would you talk yourself out of it? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd have been like, oh, don't quit right now. Go get that money. Honey, you are beautiful. You know, you small, you tiny, you skinny, but go get that money. That's what I would have told myself because and honestly. What, what, what would you have done and said? So. I would have sat down and I would have, honestly, I'll tell y'all something right now that y'all, you know, might not know about me. I never finished school. I never finished school. I never even got my high school diploma. And, you know, I used to be kind of ashamed of it, but everybody has a different path. Like everybody, it wasn't like I chose, like, oh, I'm just not going to finish school. I'm going to drop out. You know, yeah. things happen. And I probably would have quit KFC and stopped thinking about money so much because I was living at home, paying no bills. And all I had was my phone bill. So, you know, I would have kind of just paid my phone bill, went back to school, finished school, and maybe obtain some skills. Because if I started learning skills at that age, I would have known so much more now. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I think that knowledge is key. And it doesn't always have to be school. You can go to a trade school and learn a skill. It's like so many different things you can do. But working for, honestly, I'm just going to be honest, working for the man and, <laughs> you know, you working you working so hard and you're getting bits and pieces. You got to, man, make a plan, you know? Or, or you, could, you, you could always teach yourself. You can always. That's, um, what, I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Sit um, behind your computer. I'm not sure if you, knew, if, you know, if you knew this or not, but I think that um, Bill Gates actually has autism. Oh, well. wow. Um, so, so Sean, you, Sean, tell us. So, you, do you know what's going on on this show? You know what we do or no? I, I, I believe so, yeah. Um, so, are you single? 100%. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is what we're going to do, Sean. You're going to slide in my DM and we're going to talk about these questions that you have. Okay. Sounds beyond perfect. Awesome. Right. Have a good day, Sean. Uh, you too. Can I, can I give you a, a quick um, compliment before I go? Sure. You make Beyonce look ugly. You are much <laughs> more attractive than her. Thank you. Well, Sean, thank you sure you. know how to make a girl smile. Thank you, Sean. Have a good day. That's my cue. Bye. Well, that was Sean. Sean. A sweetheart, chap. <laughs> He's a, he's a sweetheart. He had a lot of questions, man. Who's Why did next? Sean is simping. Sean is, how? You know, oh they say goodness. if you get compliments, it's simping now. So hey. And guess what? And guess what? A simp going to get a woman like me. I guarantee you that. Because if you treat me like that, I'm going to kiss the ground that you walk on. I promise you that. So you want a woman to, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We, we got more for you. We got Prince. Prince, hello. What's going on, Prince? I had to get my vape because y'all freaked me out. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all yes. hear me? Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, I just want to say you look beautiful. Um, Thank I like you. black women. I like African women. So you know, that's just my type. You know, like I heard you, you say you like times. chocolate men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, but and I like your mind. Like how you're Thank ambitious. You. you know, I see you got. Holes. I heard you say you're a broker. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell a little bit about myself. So I like to invest in stocks because I believe that Me too. the dollar is going to crack. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, people don't be thinking about investing in stocks, but you got to get on that because you that's you can really make some money on that. Like for real. No, I trade as well. I mean, Trust me, I, I trade as well. Hmm? I trade as well. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also mm -hmm. believe that we got to teach our children. Like you said, you got a four-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got to teach our children how to become their own boss so they don't mm -hmm. work for the system, you know? Because we got to um, educate us on knowing how to own our own business and entrepreneurship. Right. And that's why I mean. I'm not a father. I don't have kids. But, yeah, I want to teach my children, my future children, how to be their own boss. So, because right. uh, businesses won't last long, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I but, um, feeling, yeah, though. that's what I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. So, I, we can talk I, about I, this more. You could, you could hit my DM too. Everybody just hit the DM. I'm just yes, joking, but no, go hit my DM too and let's make some room for yes. the next person. All right. Girl, were you interested? You cannot be sending everybody to your DMs. You got to be interested. <laughs> I got to be, uh, well, I'm, I don't know. How old was, how old was he? You didn't even ask. <laughs> I'm sure that, because he came on here talking about stocks and everything, I don't know. I want y'all to come on here, ask me some questions. And then, you know, if I like the questions that you're asking me, I'll probably ask you some questions. If not, I might be, I'm going to be a little bit more harsh. So don't get mad at me, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm being too friendly. You're right. Not that I'm being friendly. I just got a big heart. You know, I don't like to break mm -hmm. the heart, but I'm going to start pineapple, pineappling y'all. <laughs> All right, next. Let's go. Let's see. We got uh, G Matter. Hey. Yo, what's going on? Hey. What's going on? Chilling, chilling. Man, you are beautiful. How you doing tonight? Thank you. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Smoking I'm blunt, huh? mm. No, no, no. It's papers. Okay, Paper, mm -hmm. yeah, papers. but yes, yeah, okay. First time, long time, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, you're just beautiful. So, um, with the, her baby daddy being incarcerated, how does that like affect you know, you and your child and stuff like that? I don't want to be too honest on here. I mean, be honest. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That was a good question. Thank you. What's your name again? G? Thank you, G. Yeah, G. Spicy question. And hold on. Um, and I also do stocks. I also have my own business. And, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's, what kind of business you got? I actually have a trading group. It's called Bulldog Investing. Facebook. 500 Add me people. to it. My Facebook is Autumn Star. Add me to it. 500 people. So, yeah. I like that. But anyways. All right. So, let me answer your question. Um, How does it affect us, to be totally honest? 
if he was a great man, it would be so. I would. I would probably be crying every day. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I'd probably be still with him. I'd be probably doing the whole baby true. mama ghetto holding it down thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But true, true, true. I I'm not a girl that can sugarcoat shit. Like he's a fucked up person. So Damn. I'm kind of happy to have the distance. And I don't wish jail on nobody. You know, like my dad did a lot of time. So I really don't wish jail on nobody. But okay. some people, oh, like I, I'm happy that he's away from me. I'll just say that, and that. I'm done with that question. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, second question is, who named you Autumn? Because my daughter is actually named Autumn, too. Um, My real name is Autumn Star. So, my I think it was... That's a cool shit, name. My mom, is, my mom is actually here, so I should ask her. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, my grandmother and my dad, they named me that. But, you know, we believe that names are manifestations of your life. And there I feel you like go. I'm a star, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. So that's Autumn true. Star, my daughter's name is Winter, and yeah. Okay. Well, that's dope. That's dope. Well, Thank yeah. You. So, um, like I was saying, just quick, you know, hello, how you doing? And shit, I'm hello. out. All right. I'm interested in continuing conversation with him. I feel like we could trade knowledge. We can't bulldog investing on Facebook, where it's like 500 people. Day I told you to add me on it. You still ain't. No, add no, no. Me. You add me, and all oh, y'all niggas add me too. Because I know it's like a thousand niggas in here. All y'all niggas <laughs> add me in there too. Fuck with me, oh, I'm out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, fuck with him, y'all. Are you interested in him? Yeah, I, I need to make rules for you. Are you interested? <laughs> like, is your heart maybe in it, or you my see heart? him? Yes. I don't know about my like, what, I mean, he like my home my homeboy. Okay, so we're not looking for friends. <laughs> Am I interested um romantically? I honestly wouldn't know. Maybe he got the mind that I like, you know. He got a he got a a twenty percent chance. Okay. All right, we got uh young trip. Young trip, what's up? What's going on, y'all? We can't see pineapples, you. pineapples. I can't like why you Okay. <laughs> I have PTSD, I'm sorry. Hey, what's going on? If you don't do hey, what's, what's up? So look, I, I I just came on here, so I ain't hear much about you, but I'm a I, I'm gonna ask different type of questions. So I got I got different questions for you. So what where do you see yourself in five years going on the path you're going on right now? I see myself in a beautiful house, a beautiful home. I see myself in a big old backyard, maybe another kid, you know, mm -hmm. a handsome husband. This is just me saying like the what I would love. Okay. <laughs> I see myself with a nice business, you know. I don't okay. know what it would be though because I know how to do a lot of things. So I, I don't. Well, know, I feel like, that's, that's what I would prefer. I mean, you if you want, I can help you build your app or your website because I do, I do that too. Uh, so I, I do. Too. I'm a 29 times platinum recording artist on the UMG. Mm, um, if I you want, I can that. sing to you. You know what I mean? Show you a little bit All what right, I let do. Me hear something. Go ahead. You only hold on, hold on, right. hold on, hold on. The rules. You got 10 seconds, so you can't. Don't do the whole song. 10 seconds, real quick. Let me hear something. All right. Met him at the bar, follow to his car. Oh, I don't care. We can shoot out anywhere. But he pineapples. don't know me and my pineapples, pineapples. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you gave him 10 seconds. He was like, shit, I gotta go fast. I don't know. All right, let's see. We got more. No days off. Hello. I'm trying to be nice, y'all. So they got me. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Hello. What's going on with y'all, man? What's going we, on? We waiting for you to ask the question. What you mean was going? No, on? I really, I really want to know like where you from, type shit. I just got on here. I'm from, I'm from New York City. Uh, New York. I don't really fuck with New York, but now nah, let me start. Pineapples. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Be careful what the fuck y'all say. I'm, I love New York. I love New York. Be careful mm -hmm. what the fuck y'all say on here. Who next? Let's go, mm -hmm. okay. Coven, hello. What's going on? Oh, uh, okay. Well, no. Uh, we have Jones. Hi, Jones. How you doing? Hey, Autumn. You hello. look beautiful. Hey, thank you. you. Me? That's good. I'm going to start this off right. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Me? Yeah, celebration of our people, how far we've come, tried to come, you know what I'm saying? So what are you mm -hmm. into outside of your work and outside of growing business and all these fallacies that we're trying to build life? What do you like to do on your day to day? Travel. I told y'all, traveling is like my. And I know it sounds crazy, but I travel like every two weeks if I can, or every month. 
that's just my favorite thing to do. Like, I love New York, but I just like to get out of New York. I like to learn new people. Like, I'm not going to lie. I get out in different countries and I start meeting <laughs> people and mingling and shit like that. I just, I love it. That's my favorite thing to do. Okay. So when you mingle, are you mingling for like business purposes or are you just out there going through drunk nights and just having a blast and wasting time? See, I'm not a person that wastes any time, honestly and truly. If I'm on vacation and I'm meeting people, I want to know what you do and, you know, how can we how can we figure out something together maybe or, like, you know, maybe follow me on Instagram and support what I'm doing. I support what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If I'm with a guy, I might meet another couple that I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just never know. It's always a purpose to what I do, though. I don't, I'm not a person that just gets drunk and does random shit. I'm not like that, though. I like that. I like that. Good, good, got a good head on your shoulder, a mindset, you know, mm-hmm. driven to do more. Um, I can start off with me a little bit. Uh, I'm from California. You know, you might be my second. I'm not even trying to cut you off. I swear to God, I'm not going to remember this in five minutes. <laughs> so thank you, sweetheart. Pineapples, though. Wait, you didn't like him? No? That's not really. <laughs> okay, no problem. Then let's keep going. We got Igno. Hi, Igno. Yo, how, how you doing? Hey, Autumn, how are you? I'm I'm cool. I'm chilling. Let me address her real quick. How come you always putting me on at these moments? Like I showed her dude with the blue shirt. I'm like, she's putting me on next, and you did. Oh, That's you, crazy. You it. I guess we're this connected. Is the, I I think so. This is the second time. I, I don't know if I like it. Stop it. So hey, Adam. Oh. Um, hello. We have his we have history. Me and her. We haven't spoken I in see. a little bit. <laughs> Y'all got a little beef. <laughs> We got beef, all right. Yeah, that's right. But no, um, good evening, ladies. How are you? Hello. My name is Igno. Nice to meet you, Autumn. You're looking really nice to, this evening. Thank you. Looking really nice this evening for sure. Um, I want to start off by talking about me. I'm gonna do that first. I'm in Brooklyn, like you. I like to make music, like you. I don't record, but I freestyle and I, I write on occasion. Eventually, I'm gonna get in the studio. I haven't done that yet. I'm I'm terrible with money, so I, I see you about your money. I, I gotta work on it. So if, work on it if you now, don't mind, I, definitely, definitely. If you don't mind that, I feel like we could probably rock with each other. I'm really smart and shit, and I like I like people. Mm-hmm. I like socializing and just chilling. So that's good. Yeah, I fuck with so, it. Sounds great. You got you sound like you you got things that you like and things you want to do, but you're not really. You gotta put some action behind those words. You like to make music? Go get in the studio. I I hear that. I hear that. Now you know when the money ain't right, you ain't moving right. So you know I kind of you, you ain't you don't need no money to record. You get you a use your laptop or your phone. You got garage band. If you have an iPhone or a MacBook or whatever, you can use that. Mm-hmm. You I know how to record my own music, so you can get on there, get your earphones mm-hmm. or your headphones. But you, mm-hmm. I think you need like okay. Like, How about I freestyle? Game. Can I can I freestyle for you real quick? Cause like, I did do the thing on on SoundTrap. I'm in I'm in it. Oh. Yes, I know I know of him also. So yes, and um, oh my. there was a dude where I stay. I stay in a shelter actually right now, cause mm-hmm. of, you know I, I'm not gonna be stuck there. I already have assets and stuff that I can use. It's mm-hmm. more of a time based thing and more of a level of my determination to not be. Pro- procrastinating and stuff well get determined get determined yeah get determined but and do what you got let me do, let okay? me spit a, let me spit a little bit i'm nervous i, I never please, know please, please i never know what i'm going to say let me please, just give, no, give please, me no, give me give me give me give me my 10 seconds all right you got 10 seconds she told me not to spit but i'm too wild really lit dope style already know i'm seen now with the flow I keep going in, do what it do. Yeah, you know it's true. And I keep rocking cool. I put my work in every day with it. No delay with it. You know how I play with it. I keep rhyming on time. Dope rhyme so fine. And I keep it genuine. Yo, I'm always in the game. Spit flame. What's my name? Iggy, man. It's a dragon. You got to understand. I used to go real fast with the freestyle. Now I'm chilling back in style. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. That wasn't so yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I thought I was you know? going to pineapple you in the middle of it, but I ain't going to lie. This is what I got to tell you, right? Mm-hmm. Get that determination going because, you know what I'm saying? Get that determination going, all right? Oh, listen, I can use a job. I know. I Listen, that's why I came up here because, like, I was sitting here and I was like, I don't really want to come on and flirt all the time type shit. 
I would definitely like you in person. Like, you know, you're in Brooklyn, I'm in Ain't Brooklyn. Ain't that the point I, of this show, though? Am I, that's the point of the show, right? it, it takes a lot it's more a energy, though, you know? It definitely well, does. It definitely does. But think of me. I do have energy. I do. I have so I much energy. I, I, feel like, I feel like we. <laughs> Yo, you don't waste no fucking. No, I ain't want to be me. Say bye now for me, Silver. All right. You say bye now for me, Silver. All right. Let's see. We got more. Darren. Oh, Hello. Just... Hello. You Pi- Pineapple. What the hell is he doing? Uh, we got Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hey, What's good, Joseph? You putting lotion on us? What you doing? I'm getting ready. What's up? Where you going? Should to go to uh, this karaoke thing. So yeah. you going to engage or you going to put your lotion on? You said what? Are you going to engage or you going to put your lotion on? Man, I can't do both. What's up, though? What you you said you're in New York? Mm-hmm. Okay. They come visit you. You trying to make plans or what? You want to come visit me? Yeah. You could do like a first date. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. What you give up? Because you kind of just like rubbing me the wrong. I don't know. You turning me off right now. I'm I feel trying- like you put lotion on them all like three times just now. Like, what do you. I'm trying to rub it in. He- I don't know. I'm the type of woman where I need your undivided attention. So I'm sorry, Joseph. You know, you 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 kind of handsome, but you turning me off. I'm gonna have to pineapple you. <laughs> it's something that's just rubbing me the wrong way about you. Like, next. Okay. Guys, come and talk to her. Pay attention. Don't be Am doing I tripping? A- <laughs> I can, I can see what you're talking about. I can see it. But he was like, trying come, to come talk to me. I think no, he, he was. He, he, he was cool though. He was cool though, but you know, I feel like the show, like we trying to, we don't want to keep on like dragging it out. So mm-hmm. like, you know, let's get these questions going. Let's talk about it, y'all. John, you're here. You must not know I'm the double back king. Look, <laughs> look, 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 look. How you come back? Oh Cause you, you trying to, you trying to mess up your five year plan, baby. I'm him. I ain't I him. You feel me? Bro- now I, I do the, the crime and I do the time. I will bust out your mind. You go. What you say? Let me, let me see the money though, cause the money look funny. Let me see. A uh, hundred dollars. Ain't no, ain't no funny. You can oh, see the serial me. number and all. Yeah, let me see it. Serial number and all. No, no, no yeah. fake. No, no. You it's hear me? I don't, I don't do no it's fake, it. sweetheart. We all it's real it's in right here. And I do the crime right. and I do the time. What the fuck is wrong with him? Boy, you show me all this money. You gonna send it? You gonna throw it to the show? Like what you gonna do? Are you gonna <laughs> send it? <laughs> I can't stand when a guy does that. Do not come on here. Flashing your money, doing all of this, if you're not gonna send it. If it's not our money, do not do that. Keep that money in your in your pocket, please. Like I hate when guys do that. Yeah. They do that all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? What's up, Bobby? Doing good. So your name is Autumn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how you doing, Autumn? Yeah, my name is What's Bobby. Up? So where nice you from? You. I'm from New York. What part of New York? I'm from Staten Island, but I live in Brooklyn. Oh, I'm from the Bronx. I just recently moved back up here from Florida, though, Orlando. Mm, mm-hmm. That's cool. So, so, so what part of the, like what part of Brooklyn you really be at? I'm I'm not gonna say that on here. <laughs> uh, he left. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be mad if you did, child. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, sir, are you here? Yeah, what's going on? Can we see your face? Yeah, well, I actually came up here to um sing. I brought my guitar and everything. Well, we need to see you. Well, can you see me after I sing? No. No, I want to see you right now. Oh, okay. This is not the fucking voice. <laughs> Yo, what the like, this, is, this is the voice. You know, and then we don't we don't see them. No, we need to see uh, you, sir. Yes, Seven God, come back with your face on, please. Hi, Derek. You in the car? Oh, okay. No, never mind. 
Uh, oh, shit. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey, Hello. Uh, what's up, Autumn? What's up? How do you pronounce your name? New E. Cola. Hmm? New E. Cola. New E. Cola. New E. Cola. Yeah. It means okay. come and redeem us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I never, I never got on this before, so um, yeah, you're cute, and I just wanted to say hello. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Um, so yeah, tell me about yourself. Pineapple. <laughs> like what? I'm on me. This is not a FaceTime, y'all. This is not a FaceTime, y'all. She already introduced herself, so come with some stuff, some questions. What you got for us? Make it Hi, spicy. Richard. I wouldn't care if y'all. Hey, how you doing, Autumn? How you doing? Hello. Yes, indeed. So I don't really know much about what's going on. I just jumped on YouTube and see you. So how you doing? Uh, where you at now? What, what's your age? How you doing? You have any kids? We we did that. Okay, I'll answer for her. She has one daughter. She's four. Uh, Autumn is twenty five, and she's in Brooklyn. This is a dating show. So are you single? Yes, I am, and I'm also about to be thirty. I'm on business. Um, mm -hmm. On a tree service and a moving company. A tree, um, tree service? Yes, I'm an arborist. Okay. What is that? So basically a tree doctor, someone who prunes, removes, or like gives a tree a haircut, put it like that. <laughs> so you chopping down trees, cut them up, maybe you save them. That's that's different. I never heard of Yes, 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 yes. I'm out here in South Dakota. Um, I'm originally from Georgia. Uh, I moved out here... <laughs> Not too long ago, but what do you do? I heard a guy say you were a broker. Mm -hmm. So what do you broker? Real estate. Oh, nice. I'm looking to get in real estate myself. Mm -hmm. um, working on that. Got a lot of investments going on. Looking for mm -hmm. some interest to get back. Uh, do you travel from state to state in the United States? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. So I've been to New York a couple times. So I've been to Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been back and forth, east and west. Can mm -hmm. I swing and meet up with you sometime? Now, that's the way you ask. That's the way you ask. You know what? Yeah. For sure, <laughs> for know, sure. I'm, I'm feeling his vibe. You know what I'm saying? And then South yes. Dakota, you said? Yes. I ain't never been out there. That's spicy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry it's, movie. All right, yeah. For sure, Wait, for sure. I got some questions for Richard. Richard, when was your last relationship? Two years ago. Two? You say two? Yes. Mm. Okay. What What do you add to the person you're with when you're in a relationship? I'm ambitious, for one. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of change, and I'm not afraid of growth. I'm not afraid of being in the roughs and building up out of that. Bottom line. Mm. Okay. I'm not afraid to travel. He go with his words. <laughs> No, no, I'm just being honest. He got me over here smiling. I'm just being honest, for real. I'm just being honest. Um, a lot of people may say I'm like one of the million dime breed. Like, I'm a coach. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the above, I try to do the same with okay. people, you know, just try to give it out as I receive it in a positive way. Right. That's oh, why I, I definitely like want to link up with you and uh, talk more. And uh, I do travel, just meet up with you somewhere, New York, Florida, wherever you like. Florida. I go to Florida yeah. a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Palm trees out there. And, uh, and Richard, how tall are you? I'm technically 5'11". Okay. Uh, so, I mean, right average. How tall okay. are you, Autumn? 5'2". Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. My ear probably died, yeah. I like okay. that. So, um, Go ahead. reach out to me. Uh, what's the best way for me to reach out to you? Instagram. <laughs> okay. Okay. For sure. Um, I really don't have any social media. Um, so you, you can send me an email if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Email, I do out. have a Google. You look me up on Google. You probably put my business up. Yes. Pull my business up. You know, you give me vibes that you don't have Instagram though. Like you give me those vibes. Like you know, you're not really a social media type of person. No, no, I'm not. I'm. I really deal with all my clients, person to person. I get their email, phone number, and reach out to them as you know seasons come around. 
to build a business or reach out to whatever investments I'm investing in or trying to see if someone can invest in me. Has Google AOL account. <laughs> No, well, no. You can send me an email. Send me an yeah, email. You can, you can email us. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yes, indeed. Well, I don't want to hold up too much time. I definitely want to get the get the really intellectually speaking with you. Uh, when is your birthday? December fifth. I'm Sagittarius. Ooh, I, I rock with sex. Autumn, I do. Autumn, we the, I'm sorry, Autumn. We can't hear you too well anymore. I, I don't know if it's out. because your phone is down or something, or maybe the I don't know. Let's see. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. My earpods were dying. Hold on, guys, one second. I ain't gonna close them. <laughs> but Richard, you can. I can still hear you. Okay. Well, uh, coincidentally, yeah, not slides. Send me an email. <laughs> yes, coincidentally, my birthday here is in a couple of days like eh, maybe a week and a half so Winter if you right definitely right? want to meet up all of them i'm definitely going to be traveling somewhere okay, yeah so make sure you send her that email all righty i speak with you right. you too all right hey richard all right um let's see let's see if we can hear you now yeah y'all can hear me i'm plugging in my airpod case so you know when they, okay. do, when they do die all right, let's see. I, I'm going to wait for you so you can see the next guy. Whew. All right, cool. All right, we got uh, Billy. Who said I wasn't trying to see him? Look, you, you playing with me. You you play. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? I'm going to get your information. What's your Twitter, sweetheart? It's the same as my Instagram. All right, bet. I'm gonna add you on Twitter. If you see a nigga with 25,000 followers, you're gonna know it's me. I'm out this thing. Just know I'm finna add you, all right? All right, bye. You're gonna have to send you Zell. Zell, yeah. Something like that. Zell. Zell. All right, let's see. We got Gary. I don't know if your sound your sound is a little muffled. It's still muffled right now? Is it muffled? No, okay, it's better now. It's good. It's better now? Yeah. It was my hair. All right, yeah. All right. We got Gary. Hi, Gary. What's up, Gary? How you doing? Can you hear me? Gary. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Tom. I'm good. Nah, that's not my name. I'm in my, I'm in my brother's computer, man. Okay. What's okay. your name? Yeah, my name is Junior. What's up? Where you from, Junior? I'm from Dominican Republic. Oh, I just came back from there. Like yeah, like three weeks. How was it? There. It was amazing. It was so beautiful. Like I had. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a, it's a beautiful and it's a great experience. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm live right now. I'm in New York, I'm in New York now right now. Okay, well take me back yeah. to y'all when you go back. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just want to ask you a few, a few questions. Like, what's okay, your passion gonna... about? My passion? Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like I'm so busy just trying to do whatever I can do that I don't really think about that. But I think that I can just see myself being a personality. Like, I can see mm. myself becoming successful being some type of personality. I do make music, so maybe it might be the music. Maybe it might be something like this. Maybe I might just go on TV. And you know what? I just don't know, but I know that entertainment. I do like to entertain. Yeah. Music. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. So, how old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, but you still have time. You can do a ton of lot of music. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I think yeah. Experimenting in life. Junior, how old are you? Me? I'm nineteen. Oh. Junior, goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too young. Uh, we have Roderick. Hi, Roderick. What's up with y'all? Hey, man, what's going on? What's up? Hello. I'm just chilling. Um, I don't want to let you know that you look so beautiful and sponsors right now. <laughs> Yeah. Right there. <laughs> I want to let you know that I had um commenting on your little Facebook post. I had put pineapple on that just to let you know it was it was just a little joke joke. But uh, I want to let you know that I'm being your DM. 
You okay? You gonna be in my DM? Yeah, I'm being in DM. And I want to show out my guns right quick. My mom so does it. I had to show them off. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna be in the DM though. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Oh, I see that. You like you like the doing down? I be in the gym. I be in the gym five times a week. All right, you gotta teach me what to do. Pineapple, go on my DM. Pineapple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hi, Jay. What's going on? What's up, Jay? How you doing? I'm good. No, I ain't gonna waste no time. I'm gonna just let you know I got a thing for New York women. <laughs> Not you real shit there. You. He said a thing for young women? New York women. Oh, New York. I about to say. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. New York women? Why you like that? We, we rough. That's what I like, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, mm. bringing in my Southern, you know, hospitality. And your I hear it though. I hear it in your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I ain't gonna waste no time. I know you on the hot shit right now. So, you looking for a good time or a long time? It depends on the man. You said what? It depends on. It depends on the man. Cause remember, I am young, so you know if it's a good. Yeah, time. me too. You said you're 25, right? Yeah. I just turned 25 yesterday. Oh, mm -hmm. I can be needed. I'm starting sure. to realize that sure. I don't even think I like dudes my age. <laughs> I'm mean, being like honest. I, it, it really depends on the guy's maturity, though. But I feel like a lot of dudes my age be kind of, I can't, like a little immature. What they be doing? I mean, you don't give me, you ain't gonna get that from me. You don't give me that vibe, though. Nah, you nah, don't nah, give me nah, that nah. vibe. I thought you could have been like maybe 30, 32. <laughs> nah, not yet. No, no, not don't yet. put me there yet. No, I ain't playing you there. I'm just saying your vibe, like your your aura. Yeah. But what's I up? think that's coming from having kids, though. Well, a, a kid. Oh, how many kids you got? Just one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, though. I mean, and, and I ain't hitting you in your DMs either. I ain't doing that. How old is the kid? And why not? Because I don't do that. I mean, if well, I'm if I'm gonna reach out to you, I'm gonna reach out to you. But I'm gonna do that through her. That's my home girl. She give me right. All right. yeah. She gonna get you right, huh? She got. Me. I'm pretty sure. She right. talking about going to Costa Rica and shit. You know, we take a couple mm -hmm. trips before that. We can mm -hmm. go down there and meet her too. All right, let me know. That's reach out to her then. Say it again. I said, reach out to her then. I'm gonna hit you. All right, Jay. You was acting like you were not You were not gonna waste no time. You ain't. Even no, really no, no, no. I ain't gonna do question. it. I ain't gonna do it. All right, reach out to her, pineapple. All right, Jay. Wait, so I think your sound your sound is in and out. So it's we got to figure it out. out. Hold, let me see if I can take them out if y'all can hear me. I think I is, is your phone touching the table or whatever? Yeah, but it shouldn't even be. Um, Sometimes it does that if the phone is just y'all hear standing. me right now? Can you hear me right now? Yeah, it's good. I think it's good right now. Yes. Hold on. Is it good right now? Yes. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. All right. We got Keon. Hi, Keon. Hey, what's going on? What's the word? Hi. What's up? Chilling, chilling. How you doing? You doing okay? I'm good. Get right to it. So what's your what's your uh, output or outlook on the traditional man? A traditional man. I feel like a traditional man's, it depends on what, where he's at in life. That's first of all. But if we're talking mm -hmm. about, in, uh, let's say a marriage, right? I feel like a traditional mm -hmm. man, like his goal is to protect and provide. And it's not just like, oh, money, money, money. Like to protect me, that means to protect my emotions, to make sure that I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. But I want to feel protected. Like if I feel like I'm going through something, like say if I'm at work or whatever, I'm going through something. I want to be able to, you know, oh, I can't wait to get home to see my man. I can't wait to tell my man about this. I get home, I can't <laughs> Like he has my back, you know. Right. What else? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one more question. Um, have you uh, you been out of the country yet? Where you been? I, I gave that list earlier. What was the question? My bad. I had to, I tuned in kind of late. My bad. I'm I'm, no, I'm in fine. Missouri right now. I be traveling, so my my time zones and everything be a little you know messed up. Mm -hmm. But um, where have you been? A couple places. I'm saying, what's the question? Like, where have you traveled to? Like, outside of the US? I don't feel like giving that list right now. I'm saying, what's the is that is that the question? 
I mean, I was just asking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. but, uh, I, I've been to that was it. I haven't been to over 10 countries. I'll say that. I haven't been to over 10 yet. Okay. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And now uh, I'm going to ask you one more question. Um, so I'm 29 years old. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, and everything like that. I have no kids. Um, I own my own business. And uh, I'm a construction engineer for uh, Amazon. Hmm. Um, what value could you bring to me what as value? a single man? So you said as a single woman or a single mom? Well, for me, like what value could you bring to a man that's single that has no kid? Hmm. Damn, I feel like I feel like that's such a broad. <laughs> I, I gotta give it to you, that you know what I'm saying. I gotta do it to you. Though. To the table. Yeah. It just- Okay, so I hope everybody hears this because I don't really want to answer the question again. What I bring to this, I feel like I bring almost everything now. I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I got, it, everybody got issues. I got my little moments where I might be, you know, feeling down or feeling like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like emotionally, I know that, I feel like I recognize a man's emotions. Like, even if, you know, you going through something, you want to talk about it, I'm not going to feel like you're being feminine or whatever the case may be. I got your back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure you fed. I'm going to make sure you happy. I'm going to make sure, you know, you never really want for anything. Like, my man's needs are my job. Mm-hmm. Very point blank. I feel like I'm smart. You know, I'm ambitious. I'm not going to just be a leech. That's not what I'm going to do. So I'm going to work hard. So you, well. so you don't, you don't have, are you submissive? Because I feel I, like that was a lot of my problems with my exes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to be submissive to anybody. Only a man, right? Only a man, a grown ass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all. I was just, you know, what I'm saying, I'm tuning in. There. I fuck with you, by the way. You know, what I'm saying, cause I just, that's just how I am. I just, you know, I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna come over here and just get right to it. You feel me? But I appreciate you. You know, what I'm saying, and um, Melly, I like your show. I'm gonna tune in. I'm gonna subscribe and everything like that too. Y'all gonna see my face again. You should. Oh yeah. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Have a good night. Always. Did you like him? He was cool. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. I got Leo Mosey. Hi, sir. There's no kids on here. The hair. You can't hear no more? You can't hear me? Let's see. You hear me? No, we can't hear you either. We can't hear you. Just leave and come back. Yes. Wait, let me put it on the screen. Well, she's gonna do it, I'm pretty sure. Probably gonna come back in. All right, uh, why are you guys saying masculine traits? You think she's masculine? I don't think she is. Um, you guys hear me? I see you. <laughs> uh, I add you, don't worry. Uh, let's see. I'm going to wait until she comes back. Somebody say she's faking it. She's not faking it because um, I don't. I couldn't hear her anymore. Let me see. We're going we're gonna to figure it out. I got you. No. <laughs> Somebody telling me and me right now. I'm like, no, we're waiting on Autumn. Let me see. I'm here to talk to you. Okay, look, I had something happen to me recently. Wait, we'll talk after the show. All right. (laughs) Talking about no, I'm waiting on Autumn real quick. Um what what you guys thinking so far? I hope she's coming back. I don't know what happened. Why somebody say who watches the baby when she travels and she can have a sitter, she got friends, she got a mom, like, you know, she got people. Uh, what they're saying, Cold Moss lost his virginity. Somebody said, I, I, I didn't know. I don't think he's a virgin. Um, let me see. Okay, she's logging in. I see her name. Okay, let's see. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we hear you now. Okay, I don't know what I had to sign out, sign back in. Yeah. All right, we got more. We got Cold Moss. Hello. What's up, guys? Um, 
I can't really speak right now. I have a meeting right now. But Millie, I was trying to tell you something. Well, how long you could be on the show for? Oh, I don't know. Maybe another twenty minutes, maybe. Twenty. Okay. All right. I'll try yeah. to. I have a meeting right now. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll try to come back though. Okay. Uh, Tommy. Hello. What's going on, lovely ladies? How y'all doing? Good. Oh, well, we can't hear you either. Yeah, we don't hear you. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's it's not working on her side. No. It's hours later right. in bikini both him. We can't hear you. It, it's not us. I can hear now. Oh, now, yes. Okay. I turned the mic off and I turned it back on. All right, mm. perfect. So what's Hello. up, Tommy? I can't call it. How you lovely ladies doing tonight? Hello. Good. Good. How are you? Word. I'm doing excellent. Tay muy caliente. Shout out to the fact. Wait, I chimed out and chimed back in for a second. Did someone say masculine traits anywhere? Somebody said that. Somebody said it? Somebody I can say shout out because <laughs> what actually made me chime in is the way you treated Sean, I think his name was. Uh, the, the first guy kind of in the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about Sean. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> My voice over here cracking and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. They nah, said but, I got masculine energy. I, don't well, I mean, listen, I'm open to opinions. If they feel that way, listen, I'm from New York, y'all. We talk a little bit tough. I'm very straightforward. And sometimes my straightforwardness might make a, you know, sorry to say, but it might make an insecure man feel a little bit intimidated. But I'm just very straightforward. And I feel like I've been kind of sweet on here. If you ask me, I feel like I've been a little nice. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm open to opinions. If that's how they feel, whatever. But how do you feel about that? In all honesty... What made me jump on here was once she said that someone said something about masculinity, I was like, you have actually been nothing but nice and sweet to pretty much like every dude that's been on here. And at the same time, most of the women come on here, they just be like down dudes necks and everything else. Mm -hmm. And that fact that you like open and loving and you can see that you actually like take consideration for other people and feel right. it. It's like, you know, some people can definitely be under this, like, notion that she's, like, you know, maybe high sedity. Yeah, people particular. do think that before they speak to me, yeah. Yeah, and it's, like, it was really cool to see that, like, you, like, mad down to earth and, like, okay, chill. So, right, yeah, thank you. Thank you for recognizing that because I, I don't know, that... that that came out of left field. <laughs> yeah, that threw me for a loop. I was like, she's been a sweetheart me? this whole time no. and giving advice about asthma and everything else about the throat. All Let right, me tell you something. You're you going to get the energy that you put out. Yeah, you, I just feel like you get the energy that you put out. And, I, you know, I consider myself, a, I don't, not to say, like, I don't go through things, but I feel like I'm a blessed person. And I think that's just the energy that I put out. You know, like, it's no point in just being like a, a mean person or like you know i'm open to speaking to everybody i'm here to chit chat you yeah, know I'm i still got a pineapples know. people but i definitely appreciate you recognizing that thank you so she's look i'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's been a blessing to be able to talk to you Never <laughs> thank you Same here. Practice, so but tommy yeah. are you trying to to holler or not of course. What kind of question is that? I wouldn't <laughs> jump on here and waste my time with five so people like on the line. What you mean, Melly? Come on now. So shoot your shot. Look, shoot your shot. all right. So bet. Let's say first date. Extravagant or simple? Extravagant. Do your best. Like <laughs> all the stops, everything. Yes. See, I said down to earth. Look at you proving me wrong. Look I'm very down to earth. How does that mean I'm not down to earth? That don't I mean I'm not down to earth. So we talking like extravagant on being like, look, let me fly you out, have everything yes. laid out, this, that, and the third, out the country extravagant, hometown extravagant. What would we uh what's your preference? It depends on the man. Like if you could afford to fly me, I'm not gonna I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all. My last, my last two first dates were out the country. I'm just being honest. However, now if I feel like like a man can't afford to just up and do that, or he might feel like like let me get to know you first. Like 
You know, so do your best and take me on a real nice date. Do your when I say your best, I mean don't bring me to don't bring me to McDonald's now and think well, about we can't go play. to a Chili's too for twenty up out here though. No, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, look, them Chipotle chicken crispers. I'm a southern boy. Uh, yeah, don't take All me. Right. Don't take me to Chipotle. Do not take me to Chipotle. Now here's the thing, right? If we're like, say we're doing something and we're like. You know, say if we out having like some type of, I can't explain. Say if we go horseback riding or something like that, right? Uh, we do yeah. that, and then we in the car, and then we're hungry, and we stop at Chipotle to just grab something to eat real quick. Okay, you know, okay. but something yeah. like that. Okay. okay, but don't take me to no freaking Chipotle on a first date. Don't take, <laughs> nah, do your best. I'm talking about do your big one with me. She's do like, I want somebody me. to know, like you, you just yeah, want, I want like, I to know, to have that, that effort. Feeling. I want to feel that effort. You. Just do, do, you. stay within your budget, but do your best. You know. All right, all right. So, how you feel about museums? I like the museum. Nope. <laughs> Artist at all? <laughs> huh? No, I love museums actually. Um, my my, I can't remember if it was like my dad's grandmother or something like that, but she used to take me to the museums a lot. So you know, teach me about like the hieroglyphics and things like that. I really love museums. Wait, hieroglyphics? Wait, wait, wait. So are you into, like, levels of, like, are, would you say you religious or, like, spiritual? I'm spiritual. Spiritual. They say spirituality is for people who've been through hell. Religion is for the people who are afraid of it. Not to cut you off. My mom is here, too. She said, <clears throat> when I said that, my mom took me. My mom is, like, very, she wants me to learn about culture and being a black woman and things like oh, that. So yeah. she will always take me to the museums. But she didn't. I said that my son, my father's grandmother, because she would teach me about the hieroglyphics. They have like, you know, they're like Egyptian and all oh, yeah. types of other stuff. So yeah, they would teach me about those things. But my mom, like, yeah, museums, I love them. I went hey, a lot when I was young. Mom's walked in. Let me go ahead and say, hey, so we can be introduced. She can't already. hear you. She can't I was hear about you. to say, we can go ahead and get the introduction out the way. No, mom, I, I ain't going to hold phone no way because I know my mom was like, Girl, you know I took you. <laughs> she was like, uh-uh. Oh, Mark, Girl, you know I took you. Hot, like, my mom took you everywhere. Out here. Yeah, like Most <laughs> Well, look, mm -hmm. I would love to continue this conversation. Would I be able to just send you a simple DM? You could email her. You can email, email her? her. Mm -hmm. Got you. Cool, cool. I appreciate your time. Melly. Thank you. Have, have a nice night. night. Mm -hmm. Much love. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Did you like him? He was cool, no. but to date, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so why are you talking? All right, so wait, so I, I only talk to people that I would potentially date. Yes. I'm, I'm very picky. Oh, do you don't want me to be like that? Because I will pineapple everybody off this show. I'm just here. <laughs> this is a dating show. This is not a find a friend. Oh, so we, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. All right. All right. Y'all gonna say I'm y'all gonna say I'm being too mean and masculine and all that. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up, fam? How y'all doing? What's good? Yeah, how are you? Hey, don't start proving the points and the pineapples with me. Pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> you said only people I would potentially date. I'm trying to like. Yes, uh, hey. right, all, so y'all wanna see me blushing? Y'all wanna see me like talking to dudes that I like? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Come on. Let me take a sip. Oh, my food. God. Let's see. Hello. What's up, Odin? What's up, Melly? What's, What's up? up? So I'll cut to the chase. I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What's one thing you believe in that most people don't believe in? I want you to stand up. You want to stand, stand up? up for me? Do you want to stand up for me? Yeah, I will, but only if you do a 360. I have no pants on, so I'm not gonna do a 360 right now. Oh, I have no, I have no um pants on too. <laughs> so put some... I want you to stand up. Can... All right. So how tall are you? We'll, we'll... I'm five and eleven and a half. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, where you from? I'm Nigeria. Mm, I like that. Yeah. So I'm asking you though. I'm asking you though. Um, I'm what's listening. one thing you believe in that most people don't believe in? Hmm. There's a lot of like I'm. There's a lot as as in what are we talking about spiritually? Are we talking about in the bedroom? Are we talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can just pick one of them. Like I can tell you mine, mine. 
All right, tell me yours. Give me an example so I can know. Yeah, a lot of people don't believe in um sex on the first date. I do. <laughs> I mean, I'm a grown ass lady. Like, what's with that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay cool cool stuff. <laughs> That's a plus. That's a plus. That's cool. Cool stuff. But in order for me to do that, though, it mean that like it take a lot to get that out of me. I'll say, but yeah, I, I, if I want to, I will. Nice. 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 What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> Next question. Next well, question, Tamika. <laughs> well, that's cool. I think you're really sexy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm checking in with you. you know I'm saying? I but, appreciate um, that. Let's well, play a game. I'll, I'll give you my number over the line. I'll yeah, give you my I number over. It's too close. You got a pen? Sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, yeah, get yeah, it yeah. I want it. What's your guilty pleasure? I told you before, right? I told you it's uh, listening to Tony Braxton and Caesar in my re- bedroom. <laughs> Tony Braxton and, and Caesar? Yeah. Tony yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. old are you? I'm 33. 33? Mm-hmm. So uh, let's play a game, okay? I'm going to give you my number, and you're going to text me, and I'll know it's you for real. And I'm going to text anybody, you? Anybody who's not you is going to be blocked. But I'll give it to you right now. Energy. Okay. Give it to me. It's two four zero. Wait, wait, wait. Don't give it on over here. That's what I'm saying. I'm giving it I'm giving it to you over here, but just just follow me through. No, you just send it to her email. I promise you I'm gonna text you. I think you I would I'm not supposed to be talking to nobody I wouldn't date, so just know I'm only talking to you because of that. So send your number to her and her email. It should be below here somewhere. And then I swear to god I'm gonna text you. I'm not even like just all right, all right, gotcha. I, gotcha, I would have gotcha, pineapple gotcha. you, yeah. Gotcha. All right, well, gotcha. good night, pineapple. Gotcha. I'm gonna text you, send your number. <laughs> I'm gonna text him, he's funny, that's, he's, a, he's aggressive. That's <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, let's see. Somebody is uh say it's your man, Autumn's new man. Autumn's new man, this Autumn I'm here. new man. I'm here that's for a you. Big title. What's up? What's up with you? How you hey, name? Melly, how you doing? Hi, can you put your camera up? Right here? Yes, better. That's better? What's up with you? Not much. Autumn, what's your toxic trait? Not- <laughs> you say you want some spicy questions. I brought the spicy questions. I got a couple. I got a couple. Couple? I got a couple toxic, yeah. Um, ooh, oh, I'm he, not going to... Why would he left? I don't know. Maybe his connection. He's probably going to come back. Okay. Save the uh, save for when he comes back. That was a and good one. I got Danny. Danny, hello. Hey, Danny. Oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm great. You? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, question for you, right? So, uh, one thing that I value is family. Tell me a little bit about your uh, family dynamic. Oh, my family dynamic. Um, are we being truthful here? Yes. Very true. Very honest. My family dynamic, as in like my extended family, like you know, like my like, whole family, like how everything. Yes, the whole tree, everything. Okay. Um, me and my mom. I'm actually I'm at my mom's house right now. <laughs> I'm at my mom's house. Me and my mom were like this, you know. Me and my dad were like this. Um. On a positive note, me and my like me and my family, I love them, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't think any family is perfect. Me personally, I'm a big family person. So I'll just put it like this. The family that I'm going to build in the future, um, uh, it might be a little bit different than you know, what I have now. Okay. All right, speaking to that, right? So let's say mm-hmm. that you and I got very personal, very intimate. So what is your timeline? I know you can't put a timeline on everything, but like what would be your ideal timeline from the time that you and I uh, became very personal with each other? You know, we became the timeline idol. for what? Like when we have sex? No, for like when we have marriage. For marriage, I'm sorry. A ma- marriage. I mean, you yeah. know, you could have my ring size now if you want. <laughs> now, I don't really. I don't feel like there is a. I don't feel like you could put a time on that. Honestly, I feel like if you, when you know what you want, when you guys start planning and. You know when you start doing like the whole let's just make up the baby names and things like when you start thinking like that and get ahead with that person, I feel like that's the time. Like you know, let's just point it out. You don't have to. You could get engaged and then now, 
we're moving towards marriage. You get what I'm saying? So now that we're moving towards marriage, you're going to see what it's like. I want to see what it's like to potentially be married to you. So, I, yeah, I don't really think it's a time. I feel like when you feel like you're ready, get down on that knee. I mean, I know sometimes people are, like, very optimistic on, you know, hey, at this certain age, I want to be here. And so, you know, I know that's the thing. No. No, I want the right man. I'm not. If I have to wait for the next 10 years to have them, because remember, this man is going to be raising my child, my future children and my child now. Like, there's a lot of things that are going to come with that. This is going to be the man that's going to, when I'm at my worst, he's going to have to be there for me. I got to know that you have those qualities in order for me to actually say yes and marry you, because I might not want to marry you. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, oh, I just want to be married to be married to say that I'm somebody's wife. Because I'm still, I'm still a great woman without being somebody's wife. But, you know, I just feel like, nah, mm, there's no timeline. There's no age, you know, for the woman out there watching. Y'all don't have to feel like, like, oh, I'm such and such age. I need to help and get married. Girl, no, don't rush. Wait for that good man. No, definitely, definitely. Definitely important to be on the same wavelength. So, yeah, it's definitely important. Uh, in this current season, what are you most grateful for? This current season? Yes. Currently, what are you most As grateful As in the for? actual season or just this time in my life? This time of your life. I'm grateful to just be where I am, period. I'm grateful that I have things that I have. I'm grateful to be able to provide the things that I can for my daughter. I'm grateful that, you know, she's only four, but she just went through 3K and we could have a graduation for her and I could do the things that I really want to do for her. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, that's like the thing that I'm most grateful for. Like, I always had my own crib and things like that since I was young. So that's not really, yeah. I'm just grateful to be able to be the mom that I want to be. Nice, nice, beautiful, beautiful. I like that. I like that. I don't, I don't want to keep you long, you know. Uh, but um, <laughs> you know, I, I would like good to, questions though. I would like to connect with you more offline, you know, on a personal level. You know, uh, what's up? What's <laughs> comment. Can y'all see the comments? Too? <laughs> what's a good way? What's a good way for me to you know get in touch with you? Send your number, send her email, your Instagram or whatever. Okay. She's going to definitely get, if I'm saying this, I promise you, I'm not trying to spin y'all. I'm not going to tell everybody that, but you know, you could send whatever contact information you want to her. She's going to send it to me. Okay. Two weeks, two weeks. Tom it? while getting good. in. Is Thank you, Tom? Oh, Tim's while getting yeah, Somebody yeah, said my guilty pleasure is wearing Tim's while getting it in. That sounds like some real New York. <laughs> <laughs> they being funny. <laughs> All right, well, I'll give you two more two more guys, and then I'll let you go. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sheldon. Hey. Hey, Autumn. Pineapple. Okay. <laughs> well, two more guys for me to converse with. <laughs> I, I tat? No? Okay. He ducked the camera. <laughs> he did. Sure did. Uh, Autumn, you, uh, you man, you're back? My new man is back. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. You know, I got some bad internet. Okay. Get it together. All right, so it's back fun. to your uh, couple red flags. Mm -hmm. Oh, you I know, forgot about that. You forgot about What's it. my red flag? I don't know my red flag. All right. I'll say that I'm very, like, what's mine is mine. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not a good thing. Cause you Does, know, I mean, like, how is that bad, though? Me. Because when I feel like what's mine is mine, like, Watch, you know, what like I don't really want to say it because y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I could get a little bit crazy. I but can. Like, I mean, you know, what's what's love worth if you're not fighting for that love? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm definitely ready to fight. You know, what's a toxic trait of mine? I always feel like people should have like the emotional maturity that I have. Like, I sometimes I just want men to be so perfect. Like, why can't you understand what I'm saying? Like, can you listen? Mm -hmm. Let's communicate. And sometimes you'll be dealing with somebody that hasn't reached that level yet, so. It's like you think that you kind of. I'm kind of trying to bash you because I feel like like you're not communicating the way I feel like you should communicate. Like I be wanting things to just go my way, all the time, how I want it, when I want it, and that's something that I'm working on. So I think that's I mean, a toxic thing. With my experience, I'd say like women communicate a lot more with like their body language, and men communicate a lot more with their words. So that usually 
is what causes like that huge difference in between. I the, disagree the, though. I feel like I feel like a lot of times I feel like men are problem solvers. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to have like a deep long conversation with a man, his main thing is just like if he cares, he's just gonna be like, all right, how do I just fix this situation? Like I don't really wanna if you say to a man like I need to talk or I want to talk, it's like it makes y'all nervous. Y'all don't want to drag out a conversation. Y'all wanna know how you fix it, let's get it over with and let's just move on. Mm -hmm. You know, us women, we want to sit down and have a long conversation. Like, listen, Jason, this is what you did. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you ain't gonna ask for mine. What is wrong with these people? Yeah, next question. To next question. What's one thing you admire the most about your parents? They did their best with what they had. For doing what? They did their best with what they had. Like you mean financially or time wise? Like in what do you every mean? way, in every way, I admire my, my mom because when I tell you like that lady, she really did the best with what she had, and she's mm -hmm. very like hands on, very hands on with me. Like since I was young, like when teaching me about certain things and talking to me, everything was just so hands on, and she gave <laughs> me a lot of love. I didn't see that with a lot of my friends growing up. Like I would see how their parents moved with them and how my mom. Like, my mom is very affectionate. She's very loving. She poured a lot of love into me. She told me how to really be a woman. Like, my mom taught me how to cook when I was a little girl. Like, right now, my daughter's four, and she's starting to learn how to cook. So, mm. things like that, it's like the skills that she, that I, they just came with me. It's almost like they were just embedded in me as I was growing up. So, it's like, these are the things y'all looking for in women. Like, your yeah. girl don't cook like she, like, you know what I'm saying? But that's things that my mom kind of taught me how to do. The person that I am today and the type of mom that I am, it's because of my mom, so. Mm -hmm. And my dad, he's just very tough and stern and you know what I'm saying? But he also, certain things, I'll say like, certain things that I needed to know about men, he kind of taught me when the time was right, so. Okay. So who do you take after more, your mom or your dad? As in like, my face? No, not your face, like your character. Oh. <laughs> I can't really, bold, bold. Mm -hmm. For sure, both of them. I, it's no like it's definitely a fifty fifty with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Next question, you, Tamika. What, what Next. is? What, what's your name? <laughs> Marvin. Mark. Marvin. Okay. What is the name? Mm -hmm. All right, Marvin. Start for some Marvin, ain't it? Oh, well, Marvin. <laughs> okay. When was your last relationship? <sighs> Probably about six, seven, eight months ago. Okay. You sure it's over? Wait, why you look like that? You sure it's like, over? It's over. My like, what over happened? Like yeah. How you um, answered was weird. I felt like there wasn't, <laughs> you know, that much of a connection in it. So, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, she felt the same way. It's done, it's done. On the better and bigger things, you know what I'm saying? All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just said Huh? Mama, what, what you, you got, got on? A hoodie and some shorts. Oh, because all I see was, <laughs> I'm just like, what you got on, mommy? No. Oh. Okay, all right. I just asked yeah. you. So what you, what you got on? Next? Let me see a fit check. That does not tell me what you have on. I'm like. I got on the set, but I don't have the, I don't got the bottoms on. Stop putting oh. me in black. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's fine, because I got my shorts on, too, so I'm not even. A hoodie know. and shorts. Okay. Yeah. Wait, they want to check because they say you know how to cook. So they say, how many cheeses do you use in your mac and cheese? I use cheddar. I use, I, I don't know if I use the whole thing of Velveeta. I don't do Big Mac in a minute. But I use um, Velveeta, cheddar. I use the, I ain't going to lie, I use the packed Italian six cheeses in there too. But I feel like that, you know, all married together is really well. Sometimes I do a rule, sometimes I don't, depending on my mood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> tomorrow is your last day with your significant other. Like, let's say tomorrow is your last day, like on mm -hmm. the earth. Like, what would you do? And you're with your significant other. Like, what would y'all do? Like, what would be the game plan? The whole day? <laughs> <laughs> the whole day? Play like, some games. Okay. Um, just talk. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thanks, mom. I mean, can't um, you do yeah. that already? Yeah, but like this the last time. It's the it last day. Yeah. Cause how much closer can you get to a person than that? Think about it. We could talk while we're doing it. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, unless you gotta catch your breath. 
yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I feel like what you know, this is our last day. Like, mm-hmm. let's give each other the best love that we can because we've been a mm-hmm. bad shit. Yeah. That's a that's a a dark question. How's that a dark, how's that a dark question? Because <laughs> the last day I don't know, next time. Last day. What would what you answer that question? What would you do? To I probably do the same thing, but only difference is I probably like travel somewhere, so it's like at a different location. You know what I mean? If that you're gonna take your time to travel, I mean that's taking hours out of the day. Might as well, you know, hit that mile club. Nah, but I could be wherever I'm. If I'm with my man, we mm-hmm. it don't really matter the location if it's the last day because I'm with you. Matter. I'm happy. Those lips, are, oh, Man, they <laughs> eat you up, ain't it? Yeah. What's your questions for me? I don't really got no questions. How come? I don't know. Like, I feel like we had a nice conversation. All right. All right. Nice. Pineapples. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, somebody say he's chewing gum. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Last one. Oh, uh, well. Hello. Your mic is off and your camera's off. Pineapples. All right, never mind. Uh, I don't know why Jay is back. We talked to Jay. Jay, why are you back here? You need to talk some more? Did your I have pineapples, is... Jay? No, I think you liked him. Jay, your Hello. mic is off. You good. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I heard what you said, and you trying to talk spices. So let's go on and do that right quick. Ooh. I don't fuck with you. I heard, I heard more that you said. You talking about cooking and shit. Uh, I used to be bullshitting on this motherfucker, but now I'm fucking with you. You, you fly to me. Nigga. Yeah, you'll fly to see a nigga. If me? I flew you to me. To see you? Where you at? Where you Check at, out the lifestyle. I'm in Southern Virginia. Actually, Virginia is a, you know, some people might not know, but Virginia is a very nice place. You damn right. Would I go to would I go, would I go to Virginia to see a man though? That nah, I don't I mean, know like what Listen though. Listen to what I'm saying. It's a man that's interested in you. And he's saying There's a lot of men interested though. What is that? Is nah, but look, you convince me right now. This, this is how the last conversation gonna go. This is how the last conversation gonna go. You gonna convince me why I should fly to Virginia to see you, Jay. Let me hear it. You coming to uh right. this is the reason why I'm telling you to come to me. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to, you know, step into my domain type shit. I can show mm-hmm. you the lifestyle, you know, because it's a quiet one. I don't, I ain't too out there like that. I like to make my shit stay low key. You feel me? You like casinos? That's why I'm coming out there. Yeah, you like casinos? It's a casino out here. It ain't ready to be like the one that's ready to be built down here. It's a bump. I'm in New York City, and then they, there's casinos in Vegas. I don't been to Vegas to the casino. Like, what? What is going to motivate me to say, okay, okay, okay? Let me go pack my bag and hop on this flight. I don't like to talk too much, bro. Like, I, I don't. I just don't like to talk too much. Just, you have to find out. But I'm telling you, that ain't enough, honey. You know how many guys that like I'm. Sw- I'm not trying to. All right, let me ask you this, then. Let me ask you this. You ever mix business with pleasure? Well, you never had no situation like that. I yeah, have I, I, purpose. Like I, <laughs> I have yeah, look at you like, laughing and chuckling and shit. Why you ask me that? I mean, it's a serious question. You have do I music, ever right? Business, musically, no. I have never in my life mixed business with pleasure because I have a big thing about that. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly and truly, I stopped for a little while because. Doing music and being a woman is kind of hard. I know y'all don't want to hear me boohooing about this, but it's really hard because guys are, oh my God. <laughs> like, nah, I, had a, I had a producer. Don't say what you want to say. Let me put it. I had a producer actually not want to work with me no more because he started liking me and we actually signed contracts and everything. And he owed a song. We were supposed to do a song together. He's actually kind of well known. And the nigga started telling me, like, oh, damn, I'm in love with you. So you're not going to be my girl. Like, I can't even work with you. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, nah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm telling you, that's why I'm coming out gate and asking you, have you ever had, you know, I have never, and I really would prefer not to. I respect, but if so, I, I mean, that, that mean, we ain't that mean, we ain't got to, you know, dab into that whole business type thing because I'm like I said, I'll fuck with you, and I like I said, a lot of times I come on here, you know, I have fun. This, 
this is my social outlet because I'm not a social media dude. Mm -hmm. You know, like shorty that. girl right there, you know, she put something together for the man's that like to stay mm -hmm. low key. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I never, you know what? I gotta tune in more. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. This is fun. Mm, but you know. yeah. So, Jay, this is. And now let me ask you this right? your body natural? No. Okay. That's all right. Ain't no wrong with that. I still look good. Yeah. I know. Lips, Thank lips you. Natural. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. Them lips right, though. All right, I give you that. Thank you. But yeah, bro. I mean, shit. Fuck, man. I, I guess I got like to start getting on Instagram or something, bro. What you think? No, what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot her email. <laughs> and then, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna. She, you say you know her, whatever. I would ask her before. I don't I know. I mean, shit. I know her because I come over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just be, I just be talking my shit. But, do you have Instagram? I don't do that shit. I don't do no social media. Oh, well, they gotta send your number or something, child. I wanna know what yeah, area of VA you live in because yeah, I actually, find out, find out. From I, I thing, like the man. Yeah, all right, go ahead, like, son. Yeah, Charlotte type area. Y'all take you to North Carolina, all that. No, I don't want to go to North Carolina. <laughs> fucking with no. DC. You don't fuck with shit like yeah. that. I mean, just like hitting the road, traveling, Jay, going send somewhere. the number and you'll figure it out. Yes, like you actually. Oh, y'all trying to cut me off, man. Okay, cool. Yes, That's cool. Yes, I go yes. ahead. I, I'll leave. Do, I don't know if he's the last guy or what. Uh, he can be. Yeah, that's fine. Because we talked to the other guys already. So all of the guys that are there, we converse with already. Yes. So anybody you liked that you remember? Um, I don't know that Nigerian guy. He was very. <laughs> it's because he was so aggressive. I think. But yeah. Okay, you like him. Uh, I like him. I think the lotion name? guy could have been cool too. Who? The lotion guy. He could have been cool, but he was just. I don't know. He was <laughs> lotioning. <laughs> okay. Well, too bad for him. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, um, hopefully they'll send me their stuff so I can send you, you know, or yeah. if they don't, I guess they can still find you on Instagram. So guys, you can mm -hmm. check out her IG. She got a bunch of nice pictures. Yes. And uh, you check her out, you follow her and figure it out or DM her if you didn't get a chance to talk to her. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? No, I just want to say thank you. I'm sorry for being late, guys. It was not in my control, so I'm so sorry. But I definitely enjoyed myself, and I will be tuning in on this show because this is fun. All right. Well, I appreciate I you it. for, for coming, you. and uh, and we'll talk soon then. Okay. Later. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. All right, guys. That was Autumn. So if you didn't get a chance to talk to her, that's the IG. You can check her out. Do what you do. Jump in DMs, like, share, comments. I don't know. You do what you got to do. Um, somebody talking about 360 for being late. She said she didn't have pants on, so she couldn't do. But go on the IG. You'll see the 360. Um, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you. I apologize again. We were an hour late. But uh, hopefully it was still a good show for you. Um, that's it. That, that's all I got to say. We we come back. Oh, yeah, the next show. So we don't have a show on, on uh, what's the day? There is no show this Wednesday. It's going to be Friday. I hope you guys show up. I hope uh, it's early enough so you guys are not out partying yet. But if you, if you can't, hey, it is what it is. But, yes, the show is going to be Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, so hopefully I see you on Friday. Uh, what you guys say? Yes, yeah, she was cool. Yes. Um, chat fire. Uh, what's up? What else are you guys saying? Bedtime. It's not bedtime. It's fucking 11 o'clock. I'm about to go eat. It's 11.30. I'm about to go grab some food. I mean, it's breakfast. So I thought we would be done earlier than that. What was I thinking, actually? Yeah, I don't know why I thought earlier but anyways so uh guys i appreciate you for being here again i don't know if you saw the link the first link in this description is if you want to go on a trip with me we're going to costa rica so sign up so we can go it's in november 
so you can get your shit together by then and um uh, that's all that's all but i'll keep people still it should be friday for sure the next show and uh and that's all we got that's all we got for today all right i appreciate you and uh we will talk again friday yes all right you guys have a good night for most of you goodbye